All right, it looks like we are live here. With it being summer, I wanted to play a watery game, or summery game. As we start that, we are playing on a authentic hardware here, Genesis Model 1, uh, Sega CD Model 2. We got the 32X in there, might as well keep them all together. We got all well, three power adapters here uh, on a perpendicular uh, surge protector. Fits all of them, and that's it. You got the uh, Model 1 uh, three button controller, all authentic. And being on Sega CD, it's got all the, uh, it's got this new music. They also, after this, I know this, I played the Genesis before, way back when, when it came out. I don't have it now because I got the more advanced version here, the Sega CD version. It's, it's uh, got more things in it. Got more levels, got better music, CD quality. And that'll be coming up. I'll have, I think the cutscene's uh, not in the original Genesis one. Got more memory space. 1993 Novo Trade Echo Earth Coincidence Control Office. It's not spelled. E C H O. I think this part is not in the Genesis version. I didn't watch that. And this is uh, one one of the hardest games ever made. And with that, Ed Anunziata, the creator of this game, he had made a list of people who beat the game. I'll put a link to it in the chat. Hopefully, it'll show up. And with this playthrough, hopefully, I'll be on that list. All right. Let's see what pops up. Yeah. Links right there. Yeah, what YouTube and their scum. Alright, popped up. Yeah, just check over there. It says 16 uh, bit original, so I'm not sure if they'll accept the CD version. There's some changes. There are checkpoints, unlike the original one, but it does have more uh, levels. Uh, or the Tides of Time. Yeah, I, I don't do a. Uh, was it Twitter? Yeah, Twitter. He says uh, direct message him at uh, Twitter, so somebody has to go over there and uh, tell him because I don't do Twitter. Uh, yeah, that'd be great if anyone out there can do that. After I beat this, uh, show that to him. Yeah, looking at the list here, if you're following along, all the way at the top, Jen Foxworth. I have no idea who that is, but uh, below that is Michael Jackson from the Jackson Five. I I believe that he would have beaten the game because uh, he's a big fan of video games really like Beast Busters on you about that and of course he made music for uh, Sonic 3 although he's not credited also he had his own game for Sega so I believe that uh, John Singleton director of Boys in the Hood Jody Forrester I uh, don't know if he means Forrest Jody Foster excuse me otherwise I don't know who Jody Forrester is and going down the list uh, not sure if there's anyone else who's famous but, uh, the only one of them has a link to the playthrough. Oh, somebody, oh, someone did, uh, oh, he's accepting other versions. Adam O'Rourke did Game Gear only. So, did not see that, so I hopefully he'll accept this one. Uh, uh, only the guy at the bottom has a, uh, link to his playthrough. At the bottom it says, if you truly beat the video game Echo the Dolphin, the 60-bit original, or the sequel, Tides of Time, please direct message at Ed Anunziata on Twitter so I can add you to the Echo list. I will quiz you to make sure that you're not bullshitting. I'm not sure if that will work now. As you can see, we're doing this on YouTube and there's playthroughs, so anyone can look that up. Really, you really need to be live streaming it to uh, prove that you've done it nowadays. If you think video games as mountains to climb, Echo the Dolphin is Mount Everest. Yep. Well, for the, the uh, last level, that's going to be a pain in the ass, but... I uh, think uh, that's about it on that. Oh, hey there, RX. Well, let's get this. Oh, yeah, and the uh, original controllers are so short. As you can see on the CRT TV I'm using, so we don't have any input delay, input lag, excuse me. And we also have the better contrast with colors. 
so it uh, looks better. Not too dark, not too bright, doesn't blow out. And as you can see over on the LCD on what you're seeing, there's a big uh, overscan area, which I don't see here, that big blue line, although it seems to be covered up with the uh, black. So, got 32 levels. Echo. Yeah, that comes uh, from, uh, what's his face, John C. Lilly. He did some experience with dolphins and also did some experiments with the uh, drugs in a uh, fucking, what's it, uh, sensory deprivation chamber doing LSD. And they, he seems to be uh, seeing aliens. And that's uh, where the echo came from. Uh, Earth Coincidental Coincidence Control Office. That's uh, one of our organizations he thought he saw with his uh, hallucinations. Yeah, also there's one of his assistants, I believe it was his assistants, was also jerking off uh, dolphins. Yeah, you gotta look into that, it's all fucked up. Elbow trade. Go left for password, right to a, uh, start the game. Let's go right. Alright, A button to do your sonar. That does a couple things. One, talk to the other animals. The marks on your head look like stars in the sky. Hmm. How high in the sky can you fly? Oh yeah, there's a delay here because uh, this ain't, uh... Need uh, the, the better one that... I don't have a uh, S video cable to get the fast use the faster Elgato for li uh, live streaming, so there'll be a bit of bit of a delay here. Oh yeah, holding A uh, out into the distance and ha waiting for it to come back. You get the map over here. As you can see, we got the dolphins and we can see the fish. B is your main attack. You run into things. You can also eat the fish for health, which we don't have at the moment. And the C button is uh, to speed up. Tap once. It seems like every each time you tap, you go to a different speed. If you just tap once and hold it, you go this speed, tap it again. I think there's like, I think there's four speeds. But if you want to make sure, just keep tapping that button. Now let's see, I talked to these two. Let's talk to some other more. Echo, if we breathe air, why do we live beneath the waves. Oh, hey there, Daniel. Nice to see a hard game be beaten. Oh, I can already talk to this one. They're all over the... They all look the same to me. That's racist. The marks on your head look like starting... We are... Is that the same guy? Oh, that... That might... Here. Ah. In the Switch games, uh, the Zelda game, uh, Breath of the Wild is a really good one. Let's see, uh, what else I have in my collection. Uh, well, you got the Blast Master games, those are good. Arms is pretty good, uh, let's see what else, uh, you got the Double Dragon games. Mario and Rabbids, which, uh, King the Battle is a, uh, uh, a strategy game. I was gonna say real time, but not really. You got Mega Man 11. Streets of Rage 4 is on there. Oh, Mario Odyssey, how can I forget that? That's the best uh, one since Mario 64. Super Smash Brothers. Got Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, that's the ones I have, but there's more. Some of the good ones. Yeah, as you can see, I'm playing this live, no trickery. See how I'm stopping? I'm looking at the shit. Not uh, playback. Sing to the shelled ones and they will heal your wounds. Charge small fish to feed and gain strength. Yeah, this is one of the earliest games with a uh, narrative that runs throughout. Like, instead of just go find the princess, there's a lot going on. More elaborate pl plot, I should say. 
since you've got a lot more dialogue and it's not an RPG. How high in the sky can you fly? We'll find out in a second. Yeah, it seems like some of them ha have the same dialogue. Alright, someone else said that. Now let's see how high in the sky can we you fly. Holy shit! What the fuck just happened? Everything's gone. Uh, no, I have not played the new, uh, Pokemon game yet. Freezing to death. Oh, oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta find the, uh, you can't go there yet. You need to find the clothes and shit. So you don't, uh, freeze. Such nice music. And, uh, if we didn't do that, this wasn't open. Suddenly, great winds of water. Alright, now that's uh, the plot of the game, to go find uh, your pod. And what the hell just happened? I'm not going to spoil it if you haven't played it, played it before just yet. We'll get to that. Alright, I also got the map of this area. I believe this is called Medusa, Medusa Bay. Yeah, Medusa Bay. Alright, we start in the upper left corner. I made the map of uh, where to go. Yeah, like I said, the plot seems to be just about you finding your pod, but uh, there's more to it after that. The furthest I got into this game was the ice level, which was, I think, level, level 6. I'll, I'll show you where. But then again, I never had this game. My friend had it. I just, one day, I borrowed it from him, so I got further than before. And I never saved the passwords to go to the other levels, never written them down since it was his game. So kept restarting and restarting every time I played. Uh, yeah, I do have Echo on the Dreamcast. Uh, that's not the, it was, it's, uh, like a remake, so it doesn't continue the story. It should be a trilogy. He never, Ed and never got a chance to get, make his third game and finish it off. The second game, uh, which I do have for the Sega CD, ends on a cliffhanger, and then, uh, the one for the Dreamcast was, like, a remake. Uh, yeah, the original one, I got that, uh, that's the only system I got on the launch day. Alright, now for this level, we start in the upper left hand corner. Then we gotta make our way down, go left, go down. Um, what, uh, what we gotta do, do is, uh, there's these glyphs. If you see in the, on the far right, we can't uh, exit the level. We gotta go to a glyph. To, that, that's the key to open up that other glyph. So basically, most of these levels are about finding the glyph, which is the key to open up another glyph. That's a key and a door. And we also talked to the Orca and tells us... Uh, no, I did not mod, mod my system. I like to keep everything stock as possible. But anyway, see, once you see the whole picture, this is a lot easier because uh, you're pretty much close up and can't tell where to go. But once you know where to go, it's a little bit easier. Let's get this map off. And then we're going to go do that. Alright, can move fast with C. Can't jump over shit. Oh yeah, and the, uh, a lot of people complain about the movements, but uh, pr you gotta pretty much learn how... It, it, it's realistic physics, and people seem to not like realistic physics. They like to stop on a dime. But uh, you gotta learn how to use uh, circles and spins to get around. Here we go. Make sure that goes around you. If, you, if it doesn't go around you, uh, can't open it up if you go too fast, so pay attention to that. And here's Orca here. I know not what has happened to your pod. Now, if this was a movie, which he does want it to be made into a movie, who would voice this? James Earl Jones, Samuel L. Jackson, Lawrence Fishburne, or Gilbert Godfrey. Bobcat Goldwaith. 
Oh hey there, Mega Man 87. Don't worry, I was ex uh, explaining a lot of shit, so we're only on the second level. Uh, I might have been a candidate. I, I know it, back when this came out, that was definitely pushed. It was definitely advertised a lot. On its last season. Yeah, I haven't seen the uh, Turtles since the original one. Well, the series. I didn't care much for the other series. Never watched them. But I did see the movies. Oh, all the mo almost all the movies. I didn't see the latest one. I saw the, uh, Michael, the original Michael Bay and the 2007 CGI one. Perhaps The Big Blue will help you. That was a movie. Uh, go watch it. And I think that... I think they got inspiration from that movie obviously the title of uh, one of the characters is also the t title of that movie and the music sounds like uh, like uh, Spencer Nielsen got an inspiration for that uh, there's two composers for that uh, you got Eric Sira he, he did the uh, score for the worldwide version whereas Bill Conti did uh, did the score for the US uh, I like his ver his uh, music better Bill Conti, the guy who uh, composed Rocky, The Karate Kid, For Your Eyes Only, Eric uh, Sierra, uh, most mobile thing. I I know him from his Golden Eye soundtrack. I also saw the 2007 one in theaters. Being it on my Nintendo. Oh, you! Oh, you played this game? Oh, yeah, I was I was playing that before myself. On the I beat it just today myself, the original Genesis one. But uh, with the rewind feature, did, did did you really beat it? Uh, yeah, AVGN. Yeah, I know all about the cra crabs. I'll, I'll do pretty well because I did got got a practice running. Only problem will probably be the last level. Right, you must travel past the under caves to find him. Alright, so the plot of this game is almost like what like Kevin Smith said when he uh, wanted to uh, be on Was It Law and Order. He says, I want to be the guy who leads him to the guy, who leads him to the guy, who leads him to the guy to get to the suspect. Well, that's pretty much it. He uh, It's basically talk to one and leads us to another. He leads us to someone else until finally the end, end of the game and find the pod. Right, so now we got to go find Big Blue. He's a... Uh, Oh, we do the opposites of what I just did. It's called Medusa Bay. That's uh, jellyfish that are called Medusas in this game. As you can see why it's called that, because there's a lot of them. Oh, can't go through. you got to shoot it. I should probably... Uh, Actually, the crabs and shit are easy once you have the things you need. Alright, under caves. Under caves at uh, 18 minutes. I've been talking a lot and we're just uh, only at the second level. A lot of introduction. Uh, I haven't played the recent... The, the most recent Pokemon game I played was for the DS. I think it... I think it's... Uh, what, you know what? I got I got it right here. What the hell is it? I forget which one it is. Uh, Pokemon Platinum. There you go. That's the latest one. I'm mostly familiar with the original games. I like those ones the best. <sighs> uh, no. No sun and moon. Under caves. A deep maze of caverns with no surface to dry side. Songs of the sea sing of great danger in this place. It seems a lot of people never got past this level. Uh, it's not too hard. Just go slowly past the octopus. But uh, even back then, I made it past this. Uh, I made it to the ice level. That's the furthest I got. And like I said, with the shells, that uh, revives your health. And we got our key. I believe there's a current up that way. And watch out for the other shells. The red ones aren't good. They'll take your health. Oh yeah, let's let the music go on. I forgot. I got. I got to show you. Oh hey there, Game Spiper. 
Wizard 101. I don't believe I ever heard, heard of that game. Favorite heart, gold, and soul silver. I had sapphire. That that disappeared. All right now. Uh, the, 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 where the hell is it? Under caves. All right, here we go. Here's the here's where we are. We started at the uh, middle bottom. We already got past the two glyphs. Now we're gonna make our way up, and then we gotta go upper middle. Get the uh, glyph key. Then come back, push a shell, as the shells break open rocks, and then we're gonna go through the middle to the right. That'll open that glyph, and then we gotta go in the upper right corner, slowly past the octopus, get the other glyph, go down to that glyph over to the right side, and go down again to the left, get that glyph, and then we can exit. Everybody got that? Nice music. CD quality. Yeah, Sega definitely, uh... Definitely pushed this. Pushed the Sega CD. Really utilized it, spent their money, did a good job. Puffer and spit fish. Puffers. I right, got our key. Fuck you. Yeah, the bubbles are a current, so watch out. If you go straight up into the area, it uh, refills all your health. I just want to get all my health before moving on. And let me get me some more air. Alright, some of them also give information. Swim slowly past eight arms. There you go, everybody got that. Oh, fuck! Slowly, slowly. Put over and... Then you can just lift up and get the top two. Oh yeah, the uh, the dash here semi locks on. There we go. We gotta go past eight arms, slowly but surely. Slowly, slowly, or he hits you. Great music. Oh, so. Yep, should have checked it. Alright, before we uh, hit the glyph, make sure we get our air. If you, uh, shoot it beforehand, these do come back, so be aware of that. Well, for most of the stages, anyway. There's some exceptions, but be aware. I'll have a fish. Yummy. Oh. And we're out of here. Alright, we're in the vents. Big fucking map. Uh, not too big. Alright, let's see. Just letting you know when you play Pokemon Stadium next time. And you versus Mew, remember? Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I beaten it before. Yeah, I know all about that. Uh, Mewtwo's a pain in the ass. Uh, no, I never had Master System. I finally got one in uh, 2016. I got a few games for it. Sega Pico, I've never played that one, and I believe there is a uh, Echo game for the Pico. I think it's Echo Jr. I've never played that one. But I believe it's also ported to the Genesis and some other systems, too. Gotta eventually get that. Uh, oh, yeah. Time. Vents. Is that, uh... 20... Let's, let's say 24 min minutes. All right now, this one is important. Uh, if we we can, I believe we can exit this before getting the uh, dolphins here. 
uh, we got to rescue three dolphins, and then we learn a new song, and that's very useful. It uh, destroys enemies uh, with your sonar. All right, so what we got to do is at the start go down, get the uh, one dolphin and the key glyph. Got to return back up uh, to give it to the uh, mother dolphin. Then we got to go right back down to the right and go uh, to number two. Go back up, and then we go towards the exit over on the far right, get the... Uh, Third and final dolphin on the bottom right corner. Come back up. And the exit is uh, also uh, on the bottom right corner. Favorite uh, Zelda game? Uh, probably, I, I like the, probably tie with the original one for the NES. Majora's Mask and uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be stopped here. There's no music. All right, everybody got the map. We're in the vents. The giant cracks in the ocean floor have strong upward currents of warm water. After the storm, the song, songs of three trapped dolphins are heard here. Hmm. Now we're there. Wild currents trapped my pod below. Please save them. I'm too weak from the storm. Oh, shit. No, that I'm not supposed to go there just yet. I think it was, was it number two or number three. It uh, doesn't matter. Gotta get that key glove, don't forget that. Help me, Echo. Swim closely in front of me and I will follow. Seems like people have a lot of problems getting the uh, dolphins to follow you. Just uh, go like that, like I uh, turn their way and they'll eventually follow you. I get the key. Didn't really need it. Now we go back up. Oh yeah, and that rock I push, you see the currents? Yeah, you need that rock to go down, something heavy. And you can only get uh, one dolphin at a time. Watch your air. The bottom meter is your air. I think it's a minute something. Uh, but, but I heard that the longest they can stay under the water is like six minutes. Here we go. Let's talk to the orca real quick. Yeah, I'm, go I'm not too speed running this, I'm so you can enjoy the story. Your journey is long and dangerous. Always look beyond your eyes with your song. Swim slowly to keep control. Swim fast for your breath. Remember your way and think ahead. Yeah, I like uh, Majora better than Ocarina. Alright, now I believe there's a current on this side. We're going to need to push a rock down. if, Or that could be another spot. I think we'll be... Yep, we'll be going up. But I think that's another key glyph here. If you didn't get that one over there, I think it might be a redundancy. Yep, I was right. Here's the current. we got to push something down. These guys get annoying, so I'm going to fuck them up. We're going. I don't go too fast. Oh, oh, you gotta be shitting me. Oh, yeah, I should, I should have boosted. Cocksucker! Twice in a row! Now I might as well get some health. Uh, I, should, I should really push it over. 
Yep. There we go. Oh, I forget where to go here. Oh, there we go. Another key. Make sure you always get the keys. Alright, I get... Oh, about fucking time. Oh, oh, don't, don't need that air. That precious, precious air. It's like space balls. You need that air. Nothing up there. Oh, yeah, we already know. They say the same fucking thing. Oh, let's go. Yeah, you see, they respond. Who loves that fucking damage sound? Oh. Yeah, here we go. You may not pass yet. You shall not pass. See? That's why that's there. Wasn't a redundancy, so you can get your ass back. And now to get the final one. Mother 4, I'm still waiting for them to make Mother 3 uh, in the U.S. I really wish they would finish it up. Uh, hopefully, I wish Limited Run would the fucking get it for the N64. Hell, I'd even pay if they fucking made a U.S. version of the Disk Drive 64 to play it. Yeah, I know it's uh, Earthbound. Ugh. Such a great game, but it did not sell well. But uh, there's demand for that uh, series now, as you can see by the price of that game. I got it when it's like twenty, thirty dollars at Funko Land back in 1999. I think it's going up to like check out the price, trying like three hundred dollars now, something like that. Oh, all right. Yep, we're at the end. Oh, there it is. There's the stone. Oh, fuck. Okay, whoop. Circles. Even though I'm not doing it myself. Yeah, if you don't do circles, you lose your momentum. Oh, this ain't it. Oh, it's the one. Yeah. Yeah, it's the one below is where we gotta go. Don't have your angle, then you can't. Uh, then you can't do your circles. Ah! I need some food. Oh, speak of the devil. Ah! Don't run away from me. And now we can go all the way down and get the final dolphin. No! And yes, you gotta get the key every time. I'm not low on air. Hopefully this one doesn't uh, reappear. There we go. And the exit's there. But we're not doing that. We want that special, special, powerful song. Alright, let's go before I drown. Whoa! If only that shit wasn't in the fucking way. And you just go up here and then you get it. Thank you, Echo. Sing the song when you when you charge your enemies. Basically, you charge first and press A, and then you got to get this. Or, I was demonstrating a second. They got a fan. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I played a little bit of the fan translation, but you know me, I, I like, I'd like it for the actual hardware, which it would make it limited run games. There's something you can uh, make. Uh, the uh, Earthbound Proto. Uh, I'm not. Do you mean the one for the NES? Yeah, I, I played that one and beaten it. Hey there, from Argentina. What the f glitch right there? Uh oh, don't tell me this is fucked up. I, I gotta move away. There we go. First time I've ever seen that. Oh shit, too soon. Nope, oh, that's a deadly one. Nope, gotta go back up. Yeah, see that so many fucking passages you don't know which one's which. Jumped the gun too soon. That's the one with the two very close to each other, which is right there. There we go. The lagoon. Now this one also has another Another one about fucking. All right, we start uh, in the middle. We can go down and get the first one. Then we're gonna go uh, up to the left. Go down and get the second one and the uh, key glyph. Then we're gonna go uh, back uh, where we started. Go down and to the right. We gotta go past fucking the octopus arms, but we need to push the. Uh, Oh, I, we haven't shown you this yet, the, uh, the stone-breaking starfish. We need to move them up there, break the stone so we can get in and get the third one. And then basically we just go around the perimeter, down to the left, to the exit. And it looks like there's a... Uh, oh yeah, we got another starfish, uh, stone-breaking stars, that we gotta move to open up our way. Alright, everybody got that? I'm not sure if these are mandatory or optional. You get another stong, but it's not as uh, useful. It's uh, basically you shoot at the uh, sharks and then it, it stuns them and they're all confused and they, in place and they turn left and right. Yep, video games for Sega. But I'm not sure if uh, if that's the objective here or if it's blocked them until you get all three of them. The Song of the Sea. Alright, the Lagoon. The Songs of the Sea Sing of... A lot of asses here. She sells, she sells by the seashore. The songs of the sea sing of the stone eating stars. There we go. There, that, there's its name, stone eating stars that live in this place. A dolphin sings for her trapped pod. Anyone else get a sense of deja vu? Uh, I prefer the Genesis if uh, if you include the uh, Sega CD and 32X. Yeah, during the 16-bit, I preferred Sega. I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you the new move I got you. Uh, see that? Now we got... Uh, yeah. Oh, first shark. See the... Uh, I got a long range weapon. Help me, Echo. Oh, yeah, they say the same thing. Nothing uh, different here. Come on. Let's get some health. Oh, I don't think we need it. Now, uh, where the. Uh, yeah, that's why you should shoot that off. Are you, I don't know where you're going. Right, where, where the hell is she at? Take your fucking kid. Alright, there we go. You can only take one dolphin at a time. Food. Hey, see, I'm, I'm not having much of a problem once you know know what you're doing, know about fucking physics. A lot of people say, oh, the fucking controls. I gotta learn how it works. Oh, 
this wall. Yep. And the uh, the walls can block your fire, so be aware of that. If it looks like you're not kill hitting them, it's uh, that's the reason. Oh, it already got it already got the brick, and the, there's some uh, air over here. Yeah, you see that? Want some bubbles? You can uh, see it on your radar. Yeah, see the big bubble? That's where your air is at. We also got the key glow if we gotta get. Isometric single player story based games. Yeah. First, let's get the key glyph. Oh, we gotta start using these. Yeah, I forgot the stone eating stars. Oh, yeah, what the fuck am I reading this for? Nope, oh, shit, fuck. Not paying attention here. Gotta wait. See, and there you go. It's so simple. Alright, I think it's one, two, three. Don't take too long, they do disappear. There we go, now we can escape because that respawns. Need some health. Actually, I really don't. Well, I've been hit as well. No, it didn't. Should didn't take a bar and off, but uh, always be topped off. Look at that! See, look at look at that! I know what I'm doing here. Oh no! Spoke too soon. All right, here's the other one. Now, oh, see, we can't go down there yet. So now we gotta go back where we started. This one. Oh! Uh, fucking hell! Fuck you! Uh, no, that's it. Yeah, we went too far. We went too far. Here's the one. Fuck you. Yeah, I want to get some health. Fuck you. Alright, now we gotta get all eight arms here. Uh, can't tell you, Dally Shilly Shally. Because I'm low on air. Yeah, this is where we, we gotta be. Myself. Let me see where's an air pocket. Now, eight arms is enough space to quickly get through. See? Oh, yeah, air's right here. Oh, you gotta go slow. Uh, blast processing, I, I, guess, I guess it means, I think it, what I hear, it means it means like it's got a faster CPU so it can do uh, things faster. I mean, uh, like Sonic the Hedgehog, it can. As faster games, that's one re one reason why they made Sonic fast. That's uh, the uh, powerful heart hardware aspects. I know the AV Gen did uh, the comparison. It seemed like uh, Super Nintendo was more powerful in everything but the speed. On and some of the games run slower on the Super Nintendo, if you noticed. So it wasn't a uh, complete bullshit. Right. There we go. Don't, oh, I don't want to do that again. But I think that's one of the few things. See, that's why I've got the key glyph. What the hell? Oh, yeah, it's to the uh, down one and to the left. Oh, find another one. There he is. I didn't even have to talk to it. Now we take it back, and then we get the other song. Yeah, see, these aren't too hard. 
Especially if we got the song from the other level that's uh, really helpful. You saved my family. The deepest seas will echo our thanks, friend singer. Sing this song and it will confuse the hungry ones. Alright, the sharks are called hungry ones. Ancient songs of wisdom are songs of the big blue. The big blue swims north to die. Swim fast, young singer. Ooh, this game just got really fucking dark. Even said die, not destroy or something stupid like that censored. Sonic 1, 2, and 3, possible on... Nothing slowed down or changed. No, I'm, I'm not sure if they could do it. It'd probably be slowed down, obviously. Now, isn't this a cute little fun game for kids? No, oh, kids, it's, it's gonna get darker. It's gonna get a lot darker coming up. I'm not sure if any of you's played this before. Oh, it's just about Dolphin finding his uh, pod. Oh, that's all it's about. A cute little game. Oh. That was nice if him. that one doesn't respawn right there. Now we go straight down. <coughs> Express elevator. The hell going down. Oh. Just get some health. Yeah, see, that that's very helpful. Gets everything out of your fucking way. Oh, fuck. Ran right into that one. Need some health. Oh, here. Oh, something tells me I'm gonna need this. Oh, yep, yep. It come, oh, right there. Fucking bastard. I got that little bastard. Got some oh got some currents here. I don't like I, I don't like how they have those uh bombless pits there. It doesn't harm you, but it also uh it's worrisome and uh you don't know if uh it's a passageway to anywhere. I, they should just fucking made some rocks there, make make it look like you can't go to see like right here. Bottom of the screen have something there. So you know you're at the end. Alright, uh we're not gonna do I, I wanna get air before coming back here. Go. Then we gotta push uh, the uh stone eating stars. Don't dilly dally shilly shally. Fuck this one up, usually I should kill him. I right, got that. Now we. Oh yeah, we exit at the top there. Hurry our asses up. Whew, confused it for a different level because uh, there's another level we come up here and get the glyph and go in the middle. We're at Ridgewater. Big Blue sleeps with the fishes. Yep. Big Red should sleep with the fishes wearing concrete boots. Hey there, Dins. Seen Spongebob? This little bastard is constantly swearing. Hey, yep. That's right. Oh, yeah, I gotta show you the map. Ridgewater. Uh, da 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 Ridgewater, Ridgewater. It's a long one. That's what she said. Alright, we start in the uh, upper left. Uh, CRX. Hmm. That's some good Pepsi. And we start in the upper left. We go down, left, and then up. We get the key glyph. Go back down. Then we uh, go right. Open that. Then we gotta go uh, up into the middle. We gotta get those fucking 
star the uh, stone eating stars move it uh, to the center open that up go uh, down and right go get some more uh, I think it's see yeah I think it's another stars or a key glyph whatever the fuck it is then we can go right and then up and then left to the orca and get the key glyph and then we can escape everybody got that Pepsi is better than Coca-Cola. Well, at the place I'm uh, at buying it from, it's the cheapest usually. Get uh, three for, three uh, cans uh, cases of cans for ten dollars, where Coca-Cola is twelve dollars usually. Honestly, that if there's no deal for the Pepsis, then I get Coca-Colas. Sp yeah, I don't really watch SpongeBob either, either, but I believe I saw that episode. How long has that been on the, the air? 20 years or something? And they even got fucking Keanu Reeves for the newest movie. I didn't see it. I just saw the trailers. Alright, Ridgewater. Two cold water ponds connected by a maze of shell and stone. To pass Ridgewater, one must have great knowledge of the sea. Oh, the original guy. What's the voice actor or the creator? I like this intense music. Finally canceled after uh, last year. Ooh, it's getting dark. Knows that it gets fucking dark when you go lower. Yeah. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, there is currents. There we go. Now we gotta go up. No, no. Yeah, see, there's currents here. Yep. I got a key glyph. I mean, that's health. Yep. I, I like to make sure. Double check, I got the key glyph. I definitely want health now. Alright, now we go all, all up. Yeah, like I said, the, the current was pushing me back up. The fuck? Uh, Alright, we gotta put some of them you can push past, other ones you can't. So just be aware of that. Alright, we need something. Ah, there we go. Yeah, see, you got the tools for the job to fuck them up. Real ah! Ah! Ran right into them. Alright. Uh. Ah, there's air. Oh, that ain't air. I'm probably gonna die here. Ah, oh, the creator. Alright, check my map real quick. Big map. Uh, where, where are we? Events? Nah. Nah, Ridgewater. Alright, nearest, uh... Alright, the nearest, uh, fucking air is, uh, all the way up into the right. We gotta be swift. I missed the uh, air pocket, uh, before the glyph, but, uh, what are you gonna do? Red Mexican Coca-Colas are good, but I've only tried American ones, and I like Pepsi better. Yeah, I'd never tried Mexican uh, Coca-Cola either. All right, now we gotta go up and to the right, and then we should get our air. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Ah, that sweet air! Oh god! Oh yeah, it's under the light for you guys. Unless we're watching the lot, the uh, fucking watching the TV like me. Oh, the webcam. There you go. That's what I'm trying to say. Now we gotta be fast for this kiss. Kids, it disappears. No dilly-dally, shilly-shallying. Shally Such intense music. Fuck you in the ass. Go out a little bit and then we go down. Fucking douche.
Yeah, I got a hole. Uh, let's see where the nearest stair pocket's at. See, this is why you need a map. Alright, next one's down below. From bottle taste better than what? Uh, it's quite the opposite for me. I like uh, them in the cans myself. Uh, I think I've been over this before. Plastic, uh, it's not an oxygen barrier, so it gets flat, whereas in the can, it, it preserves its uh, freshness, its good taste. Glass bottles, not plastic ones. Oh, they, oh you mean the glass ones. I, yeah, I, I, there's not too many glass ones by me, or at least I don't buy them anyway. It's either plastic or cans. That fresh, fresh air. Ah, oh, space balls. All right, we need our shit. Oh, need some health. Oh. I just want to see if there's any air over here. Oh, gotta go back the way we came. Yeah, I'm gonna get my air. Oh shit. I don't think there's anything here but air. Then we gotta go up. From the fish's point of view, Echo's the villain. Yeah, look at that. Now let's talk to the fishes. I mean, dolphins. They're not fishes, they can breathe. Oh, oh these are some of the few you can't talk to. They're a mammal, you stupid fuck. Big Blue is very old, very wise. Go north. Visit Santa, too. I'll be the guy who leads him to the guy who leads him to the guy who leads him to the suspect. Oh yeah, Clerks 3 is coming out. Unfortunately, my car was broke down so I couldn't see the filming. I saw them filming for the uh, second Clerks for a, for a day. You know, at the old quick stop. Yeah, it always happens like that. The car breaks down for the whole month they're filming. And you don't get to see it. Yeah, I have met Cat Kevin Smith before at his uh, comic shop. Open ocean. This one doesn't need a map. The open ocean is cold and dangerous. All right, let's uh, see the comments. Oh, oh, I keep forgetting the fucking uh, chapters. Open ocean. Uh, I don't know if anybody watches these again. I put the chapters in so you can quickly uh, get to the part that you want to see. Fifty. Eight minutes. It's like just no plastic cause bottle instead of can and sugar instead of corn syrup. The can's got plastic liner. Too bad we can't get Space Balls 2. The search for more money. At least it would be better than. Yeah. Yeah, I really wish he would. He's like 90 years old. He's still alive, uh, Mel Brooks. Yeah, he better start fucking making it before he fucking dies. Now, this is pretty easy. It's uh, a big open. Well, yeah, let, let, I'll show you, look. An open ocean. It, it's self explanatory, see? Now most uh, with the, it has a lot. Of, here we go. It's one long line. It's what you would expect from a traditional game if it was made by somebody else. You'd think an a dolphin in a game would probably be a shoot 'em up, a spaceship shooter, and be something like this, or uh, the auto scrolling, and you just shoot or hit the uh, enemies. But uh, 
Yeah. One long straight line filled with sharks. You'd think uh, staying on the top. No, no, like I said, they'll, they'll, I tried that. They'll, they'll hit you right about the down here is a sweet spot. Oh, yeah. Basically, it can't hit you. Well, anything that gets in your way, you can just shoot with your thing here. If you go out and try to go on the top, they angle hit you. So, stay, avoid the top. But you will need a surface. And as you can see with the, uh, with the, uh, ramming, the dash, it's, uh, semi locks onto them. So if it looks like I'm going towards the enemy, I'm just pressing straight. But once the lock on the uh, ones on the top, see, like that. Oh, run out of there! Ha! Intense music. You know, for kids. Ice zone, this is where things get real. Uh, yes, I finally got to shoot my AR, and it works. Now, the first time it uh, did, it, it fired, but it uh, didn't semi. Uh, the main problem is what happened uh, with most ARs. It's with the uh, gas tube. It wasn't aligned right. I at, before after I put it on, uh, uh, I watched the video. They said uh, to align it, uh, there should be a concave hole in the barrel, and you line it up with the uh, screw right here, uh, so it's easier to do that. It, that way, then what I did before was a. Uh, I tried to uh, shoot uh, compressed air through it to see uh, if the air would, uh, you could feel it come uh, to the back. I felt air through it, but I guess it was the hole was too small. It wasn't 100% uh, aligned, so it wasn't enough to uh, cycle the action. I mean, when you do that, it, it acts like a bolt action rifle where you gotta keep doing, keep doing that every time. But uh, yeah, it works. Finally did some tests on it. Hopefully I'll go to the uh, gun range, so I'll fire, fire it off more and I'll have some videos on it, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, test it off on uh, private land. Yeah, if you go to a fucking the public range, uh, usually they won't let you around, let you uh, mess around with it. Uh, I had to uh, take that apart, the gas tube, and, and align it. You never know what them sometimes are fucking assholes. That's why I gotta do everything on private land so you don't have to hear their bullshit. At least live long enough to have them special effects yogurt into disappearing like Yoda. Yep. Practica mm. Well, the point of this is the long barrel to get through the uh, body armor. Whereas uh, ev everyone likes the Mini 14 because it's light. Now that one's an 18-inch barrel compared to the 24-inch uh, barrel. Uh, that's one of the things I'm going to do at the range. Hopefully I can use the chronograph so I can see uh, the difference uh, velocities. you got to get uh, over 3,200 uh, no, 3, feet uh, to get through uh, steel armor. Well, depending on the level, actually. Yeah, I think it's a little bit less than that for level 3 steel armor. But then again, if you got the black tip, you can go a lot slower because that's uh, a harder material. Harder than steel. That's why the uh, green tips don't penetrate steel because it's steel on steel. Same uh, density hardness. Whereas uh, tungsten is harder than steel, so it'll go through. Uh, 24 has higher velocities than the uh, 20 inch. It seems uh, 26 seems to be the uh, point when the uh, ammo starts to uh, slow down, lose velocity because of the friction of the barrel. Uh, I don't think I've seen a 26. Uh, 24 seems uh, good for my purposes. I mean, the 20 inch just gets right at the uh, 3,200 feet, whereas uh, 24 goes over that. Alright, ice zone, ice zone. Uh, hey there, Emerald. Oh, you like the Echo games? Uh, have you beaten them? I've beaten the, uh... Actually, I've beaten the three main games. But uh, now we're going to have some proof. And hopefully, uh, I'll be added to the list. Uh, I'm not sure if, uh... Let me see. There's the link. Uh, Ed Anunziata, the, uh... Oh, you didn't beat him. 
uh, Ed and Ada, the creator, he made a list of people who beaten this game because this uh, is one of the hardest games ever made. It's definitely up there. Uh, we're about to uh, go to one of those levels, one of the hard levels. It's the one after this. Michael Jackson beaten the game on his list, at least what he says. So uh, now he says to uh, direct message him on Twitter. I don't have Twitter. If somebody, uh, after I beat this gift, you can send him the message, that'd be great. Anyone out there? Send it to him on Twitter. Link. Should have played Dutch Farm Simulator. I've never played that one. Played Harvest Moon, though. Uh, I think I... Uh, the Netherlands... I, I heard of something. I don't know the exact uh, what's going on there. Now, as for 223 or... Fi uh, the 556, five, that's a uh, higher velocity than the 223. Yeah, it has more pressure. That's why they say don't fire a 556 five, through a 223 barrel. I'll, I'll go over this uh, when I, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll do a video on the AR once I fire and get some more footage at the shooting range. Oh, they're right. Oh, yeah, I heard about that rioting. Yeah. Things are gonna get a lot worse, people. Hyperinflation's on its way. Everything's uh, backed by the dollar. It, well, it's a world reserve currency, and that's going down. Get arm up, kids. That's what I'm doing. Get ready for those rides and a lot of other bullshit. Okay, the map right here. Alright, we start uh, over towards the upper right corner. We gotta go left, go down, to left, get the key left, come back where we started, and uh, open up the... Uh, glyph and exit. Pretty simple on this level, but uh, the next level is going to be a pain in the ass. Alright, we're at the ice zone. Dark, cold waters with few places to breathe. Strange, cold water creatures live in this place. Distant songs are heard but not understood. I thought the password said synagogue for a second. Alright, here we go. Yeah, the music has these sounds of some uh, dolphins, whales, and whatnot. Is this one or the net? Yeah, I think it was the next one. Oh, what the fuck? No. Uh oh. Anybody catch that uh, password there? Okay, so we're gonna have to do a restart here. Yeah, somebody back that up and uh, tell me what that password was. Yeah, we, got, we gotta restart this. Passwords stock. Thanks, Dins. Stock up on precious metals, gold, silver, platinum, lead. Definitely. I, I got some more ammunition on the way. Of course, I got my gold right here. Kruger Ann. Also got some silver. Another Kruger Ann. That was simple. Two two glitches in one time. One shot. Of course, when I do it live, everything fucks up. That's how it always works. And I should start fucking writing the passwords down in the fucking chat. Alright, you gotta press B. Oh. Alright, C backs it up. Oh, 
Oh, oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, I remember his video. I haven't seen him in a while. Not subscribed the MN12 bird. That's why. Good thing there's passwords here. What bullshit? Wow. There we go. Uh, no, the Kruger Ann is a tenth ounce. One ounce is too expensive at the uh, current time. Uh, it's the size of a dime. Ten. Ten ounce. Ah, uh, you like Echo Jr. I've, n I've never played that one. Yeah, usual green shit. Just tell them to not do anything and expect them to keep living as normal. Yep. Yeah, that's probably around the time I saw him. Yeah, looking up, uh, looking up 3DO, and he he did a video on 3DO, and also looked up a couple of other other things he did. Uh oh. Yeah, see, a lot easier with your fucking. Look at those big fucking spiders, ain't anyway, they arachnophobia. Arachnophobic here. It's gonna get scared. Alright, we got a key glyph, now we just gotta exit the level. So, some of these levels are real short, if, if you know what you're doing, where you're going. Oh, no. Well, we can go that way, but... Uh, go to the far right. We're at the far right. Now the... go. Alright, hard water. Alright, let me write that down. Q E Z I E A N S. Hard water. And this is a hard level. This is where the la when I played originally played the Genesis game when I borrowed it from a friend, this is the furthest I got. Hard water uh one hour 12 minutes. Uh, I'll show you why it's called hard. What, what, this is one of the hard levels that uh, most people can't get past. Alright, uh, we start in the middle. We go up and to the left. We go down at that hole. We go right. Now you can go either way, but there's a uh, crushing, crushing hard ice blocks that'll insta kill you. There's three sets of them on the left, so we're gonna go on to the right. There's two of them. Uh, a lot easier on the right. We go get the key glove. Come back. Then we go all the way to the right. Go down, and there's gonna be more crushing ice blocks there, and that's what makes it hard. The insta death. Diplomatic immunity. Yeah, that's where I first heard of the Kruger Anzus Lethal Weapon 2. Yeah, I've got the... Yeah, I got both from gold and silver. Except that they had the one ounces, the one ounce Kruger Anz. I got the tenth ounce for the gold. Do have the uh, full ounce for the silver. Of course, silver being cheaper at the moment. Yeah, one of the original YouTube... Uh, Retro game collectors. Hey there, cats. Oh yeah, yeah. I played the uh, where uh, when I my friend had this game. I was just explaining that uh, this is the furthest I got. Oh, uh, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, has a lot of puzzles. It uh, doesn't hold your hand. I I don't need it's uh, it's not really a game for kids. But uh, although I got this far in it. It's a very hard game. Yeah, Ed Anunz Yada said he didn't want uh, anyone to beat it over the weekend with a rental. Yeah. But, uh, I well, watch my playthrough and you might like it because I, I know what to do. I know I really like it. 
yeah, you got to really pay attention. There's a lot. There's a more plot points here. You got to talk to different animals. You can investigate what happened to your pod, and it gets fucking crazy later on. You think this is about oh, a storm swept away your uh, pod, and you gotta go find them. It gets fucking crazy. Believe me. Oh yeah, the, the music is really good, and that's the version we're playing right now, the Sega CD version. We'll get to uh, playing in a second. Right. Okay, it say, said we disconnected. Let me know if we're still alive, but uh, looks like we're good. I'm supposed to rub your jock on the lady at SeaWorld. Hmm, yeah. All right, well, anyway, here's the one of the hard levels uh, where I stopped. Uh, got too hard, I couldn't pa pass this one. Then again, I just borrowed it. I wonder where if I could have beaten it if I had enough time. And I never written down the passwords uh, to replay where I last started off. I always restart from the beginning. Hard water. Water turns to slippery stone from the dark cold. There is great danger when the water stones move. The distant songs continue. Hey, right, let's see. I said up and to left. Epic music. Oh. All right, here we go. We got another. Never played the uh, Genesis Echo Dolphin, but Echo looks generic dolphin. They should have made more physical character, kind of. I don't know that that what set separates it from the other games like Sonic. It made it realistic, where all the other ones were anthropomorphic. Oh, it blocked off for a couple of seconds. Yeah, I mean, it just uh, popped up and popped back on. No uh, dropped frames must have been the internet connection, not the OBS this time. Yeah, I think so too. His uh, name is Spencer Nielsen. He also did the Genesis version. He did a lot of good uh, soundtracks. He did Sonic CD. He did Spider-Man vs. the Kingpin and uh, a couple others. All right, kids, we're going to see... Uh, let me let me get get some air first. You gotta take this slowly. Ah, there it is. That's instant death right there. Oh, there's another set coming up. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you gotta stay to the left. That's the safe. First, take these fuckers out. It seems like the uh, sonar is more powerful than the. Uh, now that this one you guys go on the right and on the side. I'm really scared of these big fucking crabs. I shouldn't be fucking dilly dallying and chilly shallying. I need my fucking there it is. Get my key glyph. It's my air it only lasts so fucking long. I don't want ice with my drink, bitch. If I wanted ice, I'd have fucking asked. Oh, I say on the left side. I'm gonna start drowning in a second. Ah! Got my tail. Now you see why this is so fucking hard. Insta death abound. I'll get to the con. Now I gotta concentrate on this level. I'll get to the comments at the end of it. Left side. Wait until it comes back in. Whoa! The right side, and I got to deal with these fucking crabs. Right. I got my key. There we go. Go back to the other side. Now we got a key. Now we can exit this piece of shit level. There's a, like uh, two more hard levels in this game that really, really hard. Oh, look at that shit. Oh, oh. Just stick along the rooftops, kid. Now just three more, three more. Stick to the right. Go up. 
There we go. Two shots. Two shots once you know what you're doing. I W uh, G U W O M A. Cold water. One hour. 20 minutes. All right, back to the comments. Uh, uh yeah, I do watch anime. Here we go. The last of the ice levels. This one doesn't have the uh, ice cubes that insta kill you. This one's a little bit uh, easier. Cold water. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the map. Quiet songs of wisdom sing about the hard water called ice. The big blue is near. Too bad there's no music at the that screen right there. All right, here we go. We start uh, underwater in the middle there, the middle left-ish. Go down, go to the upper left corner, get the key, go right into the middle, go down, open that up, go to the bottom left, meet Big Blue, come back up, up all the way to the top, to the right, and then down. Exit. Yes, you have to talk to Big Blue, you just can't go to the exits. Some of these exits are blocked until you do the objective. All right, I already read that shit. So, almost feel like some kind of conspiracy with the whole Supreme Court shit. Just keeps going to a positive and shit, like just the long con to get enough dongs to vote to abolish them or something. I don't know. It seems like after all the bullshit that the communists pull, it's about time there was some pushback. Yeah, I th then Clarence Thomas says he wants some revenge or something like that. I mean, everything he's doing is co pretty much constitutional. I mean, definitely the guns. He should have went further than that. He should have struck down all gun fucking laws. Uh, should have been constitutional carry. Fucking all, all across the board. And somebody's not doing their job on the Supreme Court. It's easy to prove that. That's why... I mean, it should be unanimous, nine, all, one way or the other. That All they're supposed to do is interpret the Constitution. So, uh, six to nine, somebody's not doing their job. Somebody's lying there. That's the three. It should be nine, one way or the other, all nine. So, somebody's lying. After the 90s, like, style of humor... Similar to Earthbound and Invaders and Yeah, some of the best stuff was in the nineties or in early aughts. Alright, now here we go. Alright, we're under the uh, under the ice. I don't know how I got here from that last level. Yeah, as you can see there's a narrative on where you're going and you're just not randomly somewhere it, they tell you where you're going and how you got got there. The, the transitions are pretty great. See, we got to the ice level through that open ocean, crossed it. Yeah. Fucking douchebag. There we go. There's a uh, crab somewhere there. There we go. Now I say the middle. Uh, I think I went too far. Let me check my map. I think I did. Nope. Uh, yeah, I went too far. I gotta go back. Should display gun laws on purpose so that the government can't enforce it. Yep. Also, guys, shoot some cops because they're a bunch of fucking Nazis. They just follow orders. They're the ones enforcing the laws. Obviously, lying scumbags. And when they say, I, I 
I'll serve and protect the Constitution while well, waiting with the gun laws. Asshole, taking away guns, enforcing those unconstitutional gun laws. You scumbag piece of shit. No fucking good. Holy shit. I got some, uh, there's Big Blue. Go watch that movie. What are you to know? You are very brave, little Echo. I have listened to the songs of the storm. I am sorry about your pod. I will try to help you. We know that these violent storms occur every 500 years. When they occur, all traces of life vanish at the eye of the storm. I do not know why or how this happens. Do not give up, little singer. There is one older and wiser than I. It is called the Asterite. We think it is the oldest life form in the sea. We feel great energy of thought from the Asterite, but it will not sing to us. If you can communicate with it, perhaps it could help you. The asteroid is located in the deep water zone. Oh, he let, led to the guy who led to the guy who will lead us to the guy. Fucking douchebag. And here we go, we need that key to escape where we just came. Because uh, those glyphs reappear. Oh. Yeah, there's a uh, current there. Oh, turn, turn! There we go. We gotta turn at the last fucking second. It's a mystery of what happened. And here's one of the uh, Sega CD ex exclusive levels. Open ocean. The open ocean is cold and dangerous. All it is was that last open ocean, but we're going the opposite way. O W I Q U O M C. Open ocean at uh, one hour twenty-seven minutes. That whale is dead, though he can't get through those little passages. I know you're joking about that, Dins, but uh, if I don't know when you jumped in, that's what they said he is. He came here to die. I'm suspecting this game isn't for kids, despite the uh, cover. Oh, it's about cute little fucking dolphins finding his other dolphin friends. Don't worry, kids. It's going to get fucked up later. It's going to get really fucked up later in the game if you haven't played this. Nazis wasn't as gun control as people think. Soviets were total gun control. Yeah. To uh, yeah. If you were for the Nazi party, they gave you a gun. But if you were a Jew or any of the persecuted uh, groups, you weren't allowed a gun. Ethnic Germans and Western Europeans couldn't own guns. Yep. But no guns for the people who they want to get rid of, though. Alright, here we go. Open ocean. Same thing as before, but... Uh, Automatically turned right. So, uh, somebody was talking about that. I was watching somebody else's playthrough. They say it's glitched because most of the time you're, uh, you start from the left and then you go right like most games. But uh, here we start right and go left. And we just saw some fish. I don't think there was any fish in the uh, first open ocean. Right now with uh, the transitions with the levels makes sense. Open ocean. Traveling the open ocean to get to the ice zone which is far away. You're not just not randomly going to levels. It all makes sense. You're all point you're pointing to the direction of these places.
Ah, you bastard. I really wish there was an ocean floor here, though. Like rocks or something. Looks like a death pit. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. Island zone. I F N M T O motherfucker. Island zone. Uh, what the fuck time? One hour, thirty minutes. V Island from Pokemon. Nope. All right, let's see Island Zone. Let's check out that map. Island Zone. Oh, that's a big fucking map. Got to bring it down. Oh shit, it's long. That's what she said. Yeah, we're at a side view, so... Yeah, the I islands uh, look like pillars to our perspective. Alright, we start in the upper left corner. We gotta go uh, to the right. Go down, get the key glyph. Go down. To the right, open up the key... D oh, here's that other... Uh, this what I was talking about. Uh, Thought I had to go back, but the uh, ex exit's right in the middle. It's in an odd place, but we gotta go to the far left, get the key glyph, and come back. I see. I see a uh, orca down there. Perhaps I should go down there and see what he has to say. What do you think, kids? Go see that orca. If there isn't a event or anything, I'll check it out. All right, let's give it a try. Test, test. All right, yeah. Running over the cord here for the microphone. Don't want to lose it like in Jurassic Park. Seven islands in warmer waters. Went from the uh, North Pole to the fucking Hawaii. Ooh, we got the opening song. Wait, where the fuck am I? Let's check that map one more time. Or, or maybe I started somewhere else. I'm gonna go back real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Fuck, fuck that orca. Fuck him. Fuck him right in his a ass. I mean, this is a pretty quick one. It's probably gonna say something stupid like do 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 Uh, well, I think I went, yeah. May have gone too far in a few places. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, there's the evil, evil, uh, Mandian stars. I mean, the, uh, fucking stone eating stars. Let's get some air. Come on, Kohagen, give these people air. Now we go down, now that we got a key lift. Ah, shit, so many spikes, see? Oh, fucking eight arms. I think this is the last one of them. Go slow. Now we basically go around the perimeter. Go all the way down. Nope, I think that was there. No, this is, I think this is the exit. Nope, that is there. Next one's the exit. Yeah, here we go, but we need the key glyph. Oh. Yeah, see, I can see it on the radar in the upper corner. I uh, we need some health. Oh, it's... There we go. So you gotta you got kill those things first before moving. Alright, now we gotta go up. All the way up into the right corner to get the key. And now we can exit the level. See, it's pretty fa fast when you know what you're doing. Let's 
Let's get some help air. I mean, we could probably make it, but uh, I don't want to risk it. Fuck you. There we go. Deep water. Oh, this one's also an easy one. Some of them are easy and uh, fast. Alright. Pretty simple. Just uh, go down and the, take the le left pass go in, path and go into a serpentine pa pattern. There's nothing really blocking your way. Just some enemies and uh, go to the bottom right corner and that's pretty much it oh yeah I forgot the uh, fucking password and shit Y Z F Q S O M K for deep water and the time is one hour and 36 minutes Alright, uh, ancient breathless passages run so deep that no songs of this place have yet been sung. Right, just making sure my mic's still going. Gotta check that every so often. The fucking chair pulling it out. Uh, we take the left side because uh, there's some currents on the uh, right side of this little block here. Now there's some currents over here. Alright, made it. Ah, fuck it. I need that. I just want to be on the safe side. Fuck you. See, I hate that shit. Block it off if there's nothing got it. Yeah. Yeah, take out the crabs. I think this one, there's a... Uh... No, not this one. Next one. Ooh, the, yeah, this is the one you want to go slowly. Now, I this is an automatic. I you got to control it and go left, right. He's just not turning uh, in circles because it's a tight uh, area. And here we are. Look at this uh, sperm, fucking DNA. I remember you. We've never met. Of course it was you. And it was I who sent you. Have you been drinking? Now it is clear. I can help you by giving you powers and knowledge, but you must help me. You must help me regain my full strength. You must travel into the past. Christopher Lloyd to uh, do the voice acting here. To the west is a sunken city called Atlantis. It's people built the machine and used it to time travel. And we never see any people in this game or the sequel, but we do see people in the third game, which is basically a, a, a reboot. Use the machine to travel to the distant past before your kind existed. You will go back 55 million years. There you will find my missing globe. You must return it to me. Only then I can give you what you need to save your pod. And there, see, there it is. It's missing. It's blinking. All right, we are at Volcanic Reef. The sunken city is thought is through the mountain of stone, glyphs, open passages in this place. I believe this is with the, we're going into the uh, Sega CD exclusive games. Beyond Good and Evil. I, I never played that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, o Q Z I U O motherfucker. Volcanic Reef. Um, but the, 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 the time is uh, one hour, forty minutes. One hour, forty minutes. Now these ones don't amount to much. The Sega see there 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 aren't plot points. Like it seemed it seemed the uh, the uh, these ones that have more puzzles to them or they're more puzzle like. 
they're not as simple as get key go to uh, open the exit now you gotta open and shut doors and shit and find hidden passages it's made by the same guy that made Rayman it's similar to Blast Master in that it has multiple game genres put together as a semi open world similar to Shenmue I'll probably have to try it out one of these days Yeah, I, I really don't really like the uh, Sega CD uh, levels, but I do like the music. So this game is a little bit, they, the, the levels aren't too hard, but they just go on because it's puzzle-like, takes time. And it uh, they basically have no plot points, that's uh, I believe, maybe they cut it from the Sega Genesis version, not, or maybe they didn't have space. But uh, you see how there was a plot point, it's basically for a second level find the orca you find him then you go to the find big blue you travel there you can find big blue then you find the asteroid basically the, a plot point level finding the uh, who you gotta find but these are pretty much no plot point or getting to your destination just pro prolongs it basically uh, the Genesis, uh, Genesis version had a better uh, uh, pacing for the uh, plot point levels oh yeah Forgot to show the map. It's on Xbox, PlayStation 2, GameCube, and PC. Alright, we start in the upper right corner. We gotta get the uh, key glyph. We gotta jump through the hidden area to get to the blocked key glyph. Then we go down, get the Key glyph now, they all, uh, there was like rocks blocking the way, so uh, these ones aren't pretty much a uh, key to open up a glyph. It's open to the uh, rocks blocking the way. Go get that one, then we go down. Open that one, go down. And that one will be the uh, open the key glyphs on the far bottom one. We're going to have to get air, though. Go to the top. And then we'll get the final key glyph and exit the area. Now we can access this uh, key glyph here from either side. Yeah, the hidden area here is up there. Boom. Gotta go down. Access granted. Now that opens up something. Now we gotta go around. Hidden. Next is granted. Search for the key glyph. Now this one's the key glyph. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you in the ass. Alright, here. Oh, yeah, I think I. I is this the one? Ah, uh, yeah, I definitely want air. I'm gonna go get the air and then come back. Now we need uh, this thing here. Gonna move it over. See those rocks? We're gonna open them up with this. Oh, there we go. Don't go too fast. You can overshoot it. That's why I need the air. Now we can get the fuck out of here. Jesus. Ship gra grave C. Ship grave C. Did they fuck that up? We're at uh, Milf Milf Wong. Ship Grave C. One hour forty five minutes. Yes, they had yellow fever and not just fish fever. Yep.
bones of strange floating whales are found here, meaning ships. This is, takes place from the uh, dolphin's point of view. They are infested with dangerous fish. Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting. There's so many things to remember. Gotta show you the map so you understand what's going on here. Uh, I have my little notes on this map here. Glyphs, open and close rock doors. Originally when I was playing this, I uh, did my practice when I thought the uh, turtles opened the uh, stones. Like the uh, seashells and the fucking uh, stars. Stars. Wom isn't a real, sh <laughs> real life sure name. Well, you never know. Glyphs open. Yeah, I just read that. Are we starting the upper left corner? We go down. Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. We get the map doesn't even show the glyph in the uh, left corner there on the upper left corner. That that fucked me up. You op open that, and that opens up uh, some of the blocks and shit. Then we go down. We go around. Got to get that key glyph uh, on the bottom right hand corner. Then we got to go circle back the exit. Alright, everybody got that? Oh, got we're using the uh start starting title screen music. Access granted. Oh yeah, I could, I could have shot through the uh, fucking, fucking walls and got the invincibility. Now there's uh, yeah, there's currents. Can't go this way. We gotta go up and around. All right, here's where the invincibility shoot it. It only lasts for a short while, and you get uh, full air. And uh, I see that opened uh, this over. Here. Access granted that it opens the other way. We gotta go around. I go with the way that current was, go all the way around. Get some more invincibility. Now I know that seemed fast, but you should have seen how long it took on the practice run. I kept trying with that turtle over there. Thinking it's uh, to open up those rocks <coughs> when the map didn't even show the key glyph. More like Ebony Fever. Wong sounds more. Wong sounds more African. Yep. Here we go. We're at uh, M H S B Wami. Wreck trap. It's a trap. We're at one hour, uh, 48 minutes. Excuse me, 49 minutes. Dangerous caves with fierce currents. The turtles may help, but not willingly. From the, a the other animal's point of view, echoes the bad guy. From my point of view, it's the Jedi who are evil. Or whatever he says. I only saw those movies like one or two times. Yeah, they... And what they wreck trap bet bussy. Some kind of degenerate game to vet, vet deaths. Yep. Alright, here we are on the map. Uh... You start on the upper left corner. Oh wait, this ain't the level. Oh, we start in the upper right corner. Excuse me. We gotta jump down, uh, speed down into those rock. See inconsistency on the uh, the mechanics here. Some of them uh, you need stars. Some you need shells. Some you need fucking 
what else do they need to open them? This one we just gotta ram right into it to open up the stones. Now we go down, there's some currents, we go left, go up, get the key glyph, go around, because two different uh, ways where the currents go. Then we go down south, go right, then we go right more, go up, go left, get the key glyph, go right to get the stars here, and then we gotta open up those uh, stones in the upper right corner, and then we can exit. Alright, everybody got that? There it is, see? Good, got all three of them. Oh, let me get, uh, ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that's why I pointed the uh, map all the way up there, the arrows. Now we go up, get our key glyph. Yeah, some, some of them can, you can get invincibility from. You gotta always make sure. Ah, they got me! Get down there, bitch. Now we follow it down. Now to the left there's some invincibility, so we get more air, you definitely want that. Go up, I believe there's invinci- there, that should be invincibility. Yep, there we go. Now we gotta get the key glyph. Access granted. Now we gotta get the star glyph. Uh, no, excuse me. There it is. Ah! I can get through here, and there should be like there was glyph there. That's why you had the glyph fucking thing. The Sea of Silence. What, what do you think is going to happen in that level? Uh, Q N E J W O M M The Sea of Silence uh, 1 hour 53 minutes are we going to visit any other countries? Uh, probably not anytime soon. I don't know, with all the traveling with the child molester TSA, either get molested or be uh, fucking pornographed with their fucking... And with fucking radiation? Nah, I ain't going to be flying anytime soon unless it's, it's private. Fucking douchebags make us fucking safe. It doesn't make us safe. They never stop the single fucking terrorist. And having the TSA there prevents uh, fu fucking people from killing fucking pedophiles. Go watch, what's his name? Gary Doucette. Or wh whatever his name was, Gary Cluche. Seen that? Go watch that video. His fucking son was molested by one guy. And the police were taking him through the airport. And he knew, knew he was coming. The dad fucking turned at the fucking fucking uh, telephone and shot him right in the head. Instant justice right there. And the, the cop was like, Gary, why? Why, Gary, why? Why do you think, asshole? Yeah, that's right on YouTube. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Forgot the map. Uh, da 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 Sea of Silence. There we go. Yeah, they're a bunch of faggots. Yeah. Oh! Wrong one. The one without the fucking... There we go. That's, that's the one we want. 
There we go. All right, we start in the uh, upper left corner. We go right, get the uh, first glyph, go down to the center. Uh, get the other glyph, then we go around, down. We get, we're gonna need the turtles. Get the final glyph, glyph in the uh, bottom middle corner. Well, not just bottom middle. Then go back up and uh, to the middle right. All right, everybody got that. Can anybody tell me why this is called the Sea of Silence? Access granted. There we go, got the other axis granted. Is it remakes Silence of Sea Lines? Nope. Alright, axis granted. Never get some air. Oh, that's the exit. Go down. Got two of them. Ah. There we go. Brute force your way through. Now let's get the fuck out of here. And save this time without getting get in the air. Deep Gate. It's called Sea of Sons because there was no music there. Right, can everybody hear the music just fine? Or is it too low? Alright. Uh, UWW. Up oh, too many W's. M W O M U. Deep Gate. One hour, 59 minutes. So they ran out of soundtracks. <laughs> Maybe. But then again, uh, they are re already reusing the soundtracks. We had the uh, opening so song on, I think, two two levels already. All right. Deep Gate, very few songs by singers who guard the entrance to the Marble Sea. All right, let's check out that map. Oh, this one's a pain in the ass. Still on the Sega CD. It seems like this whole section here is the uh, Sega CD exclusives. Aside from the uh, second open ocean. All right, we all right. We got th this one's f uh, pain in the ass. You see that glyph in the upper right corner? We got to keep coming back to that one. That one opens the glyphs down below. So we got to take that one, go to the upper left one, go back. Go down, get the next one down on the right, go back up, uh, go down, oh, open that one. Then we gotta go back up, but we have to do this fucking thing with the barrel, which is the new mechanic that's only in this level. 
you got to fill up the barrel with air, air, then go up against the current that's pushing you down, go get back the glyph, go down, do it again, and uh, we get you the star glyph, the star, the stone eating stars to exit. I believe that that's about it. But uh, there you have it. Let's right, start here, get her. See what they have to say. The Marble Sea is a beautiful place. But it is frightening there, I hear. Very few singers have the songs of the sunken city. Strange shells hold air and ascend. Oh, that, that helped uh, trying to figure it out on my practice run. Collect air in something that is empty. Oh, I, I did not talk to these assholes. That would have been really helpful. The marble sea is beyond. See, they're all moving around so I couldn't get to them. Oh, look at this. Glitching out here. Yeah. This only happens when I go live. Alright, we got our first one. We gotta go back. Get air. Don't forget getting that air. I think the uh, Sega CD levels are the only ones with ships in them. I think they said they reused the ships for the uh, second game, Tides of Time. Yeah, I haven't played that one in a long time either. Alright, here we go. Currents down here. Open that up. Now with the, uh, the barrels here. Can do two things. Oh, fuck you. You can use it to go up against the current, or if when you fill it up with air, you can bash it and refill your air. I right, know we gotta push it down here. Fuck you, fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, fill up like three, t four times. Two, three. Okay, three. Never mind. That was four. Move it on over. Don't do not bash it. Like I said, I'll open up. Fuck you. Fuck you. See? Open it up. Got some air. Something that could have been brought to my attention yesterday. I was brought to my attention yesterday, but uh, a little bit before that. Did I get the key glyph? That see what I'm talking. I'm just double, ma double making sure because uh, all the shit I'm doing. Yeah, I got it. Double checking, double checking while I'm up here. Instead of going all the way down. And, oh, I forgot. Should be able to go over. Now there should be an invincible. That's the invincibility. Yeah. I forget where it's got to be lined up at. A little bit lower. Oh god. Circles. The good old circle jerk. All right, there we got it. Marble C. Now we're back on the Genesis levels. <sighs> Q O W X U O Mister. You're in big trouble, mister. Two hours five minutes the Marble C.
What's that like? A ball pit? Mmm, marble sea. Mm, nah, not like a ball pit. <laughs> oh yeah, notice there's no dis starting to be no descriptions here. Uh, so, so, so one of the few fucking playthroughs. Uh, I think the reason why there's no description because nobody has e ever entered this area before. Right now, I'll show you the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Uh, where the hell is it? Marble Sea. What is it? Uh, I only died once at Hard Ice. Uh, also, another simple one. Are we start from the uh, right? I believe that the guy, the the, guy, the playthrough I was watching. I think he said it. He turns when you start. He starts to the right. He says that's a glitch because most levels you start from the right. So we got to turn him around and face left. All right. So we go left. Go to the uh, blocked to fight the current. We go down. We go right to the key glyph. Then we go down. Open it up with the other glyph. See, the glyphs do different things. One's a key glyph, one is to uh, access granted. And then we uh, exit to the right. Not not too difficult. Not too difficult at all. Yeah, see, we st started with the uh, facing right. You know what, I'm gonna get air. Safe, not sorry. Isn't that fucking pretty? Oh yeah, we're playing with composite cables, so with it, there's some dithering on, on the characters. I should probably push that a little bit harder. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna restart. Well, not. I'll try it again. Uh, reset that fucking block. It needs a little more, more oomph behind it. But not too hard. Let's, uh. Oh, that was too hard. Yeah, it's just it's easier to just restart it, go out and restart it. Wait, come on, I need... Oh, excuse me. Uh, fish. Fuck you. Uh, yeah, I want some fish. I saw some earlier. There we go. Alright, that was a little too hard. Yeah, I'm I'm tre I'm t uh, testing out the fucking different speeds. Of it. You've been tapping it once. Alright, tap it once, but don't hold it. That seemed to work pretty well. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta you gotta run into those. First, I gotta get rid of these assholes. Uh, you speed up just a little bit, but don't hold it. There you go. Do it again! Fucking douchebag. I did hit the uh, ram, but didn't want to do it. I did hit it. I did hit it, but didn't want to do it. No! Jesus Christ, Lurk. Alright, we got the invincibility. Alright, now, like I said, we go through, through the metal. Oh, wait, no, we gotta go to the bottom first, I think. And then, and then, we get the key, that clip that's in there. Access granted. I think on the Genesis version there... On the Genesis version there's like, there's supposed to be a block, I think you push it. I don't remember seeing a block, or unless it was like, block.
Oh, it's this one. Oh no. What the fuck is going on here? Ah! That, that fucking thing had to be there. Pissed me off. You know what? I think they're... There, 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 that's... This one has uh, stars. The other one had a, had a fucking... Just a or a fucking block, if I remember. Correctly. There we go. We're learning, kids. I want my invincibility. And that will go open... Is it too difficult? The library. The twelfth level could be wrong. Uh, on the Genesis ver version, you might be right. Where on the Sega CD version, my uh, my uh, maps say that I'm on uh, right now on uh, level twenty out of uh, thirty-two. Uh, yeah, thirty-two. Yeah, this one's a longer one than the Genesis version. Yeah, it went like six levels. Oh, you gotta put down the password. I A B J V O M N. We're at two hours and twelve minutes. Uh, ba 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 ba. L library. Perfect timing. I think uh, I'll show you the map. The library, library, library. Uh, yeah. All right. We start in the upper right corner. We go down. Now it's called the library because it uh, tells you the history, uh, the plot of this game on those glyphs right there in the middle right. A lot of them. All right, we go down, we go up. We're, we got to push this block across a bunch of gaps, but uh, not too difficult because it automatically moves them over to the right. There's some automatic uh, shit going on there, so it makes it a little bit easier. I, th I, I believe it's also in the Genesis version, so they didn't just upgrade it in the Sega CD. All right, we got to use that block and bring it to the bottom to open that up. Then we go left. Uh... Gotta go left for the air, and then go right and around, and that's uh, pretty much it. Not, not there yet. There we go, now we're down. Going to the library. Now we're gonna learn the plot of this game. One more. Vortex is feeding on the seas of our earth. Eventually, all life will be harvested. Body harvest. All life will end. The vortex must be stopped. Well, we we now we know what the what caused that storm. Uh oh, it's not just a normal storm that you caused. Yes, yeah, so you got. It doesn't tell you up front what's going on. It's a mystery. So you think it's your fault that the pod got. Uh, disappear it's because when you jump in the air that's when the storm happens your fault but uh, back then I didn't know about the uh, story so for years that's all, all you figure glyphs crystals containing encoded messages certain sounds reflect the message back created to help a dolphin of the future travel to vortex Planet Vortex, third planet in the star system, Cassandra, I don't think that's a real star system, I looked it up, at least from what I could see. Located in the head of the constellation Pegasus. Note, the nearest constellation Pegasus is Delphinus. Ooh, ooh, ooh dolphin. Oh, there's the constellation, the same as on Echo's head.
vortex life forms. We suspect that vortex is dying and can no longer produce food. Every 500 years when the earth and vortex have a clear path, the vortex feed upon the earth. Each feeding increases in size. The vortex are getting hungrier. We, the people of the United States, I mean Atlantis, have made these glyphs for you. We are losing a war with the planet Vortex. Atlantis is in ruin after a beam struck from space. We have escaped into the past with our technology. Dolphins breathe air, though they live in the sea. We know that dolphins' ancestors originally inhabited the land. Why did they migrate to the sea? More than 50 million years ago, the ancient land-living ancestors forged for fish and other foods in warm, shallow tides of the prehistoric seas. We think they returned to the water permanently to follow the fish and other aquatic delicacies that were not only abundant, but easy to gather. Dolphins are superbly suited to the sea. Their form is adapted for swiftness and agility. Numerous vertebrae in their backbone give them tremendous flexibility, even in their neck, so that they can bend their head at right angles to their body to look around. Their horizontal tails, or flukes, are perfectly designed for rocketing up from the sea floor to seize prey. They can angle their flippers for diving or surfacing, tilt them for rolls and turns, and fully extend them to slow down. With a burst of speed, bottlenose dolphins can swim as fast as 17 miles per hour. They achieve their highest speed by leaping from the waves in curves and spending as little time as possible underwater. The effect is as if they were swirling around like wheels, sometimes underwater, sometimes above it. When we see this, we say the dolphins are running. Though not commonly thought of as deep divers, dolphins can reach impressive depths. Bottlenoses can repeatedly plunge to as deep as 1,000 feet. While foraging for food, they can hold their breath for as long as six or seven minutes. To survive the pressure of such depths, dolphins have evolved a collapsible rib cage. Their circulatory and muscular systems have modified to increase oxygen storage, and their heartbeat slows down while they're diving and speeds up rapidly when they take a breath. Unique physical features help us see dolphins as individual creatures. Their wide mouth, though filled with a formidable array of teeth, seems to be smiling. A blowhole at the top of their body lets them breathe with only the slightest break through the water's surface. This aquatic nose, which moved to the top of their body during evolution, closes tightly during dives to lock out water. They have almost no sense of smell, but very good eyesight, better than humans. Although they can only see for a short distance underwater, their eyes gaze intelligently with a friendly, curious, and often humorous expression. When you look at dolphins, they look When you back. look into the abyss, the abyss looks back. I don't know if that was narrated by Richard Kiley. Spared no expense. And needless to say, these, uh, these ones right here are Sega CD exclusives. I think they just repeat some dialogue on the other ones. Uh, and the Genesis version. Yeah, they don't get the Peter in the blowhole. Yeah, if you know the fucking background of this, the inspiration for this game, the those experiments with the John C. Riley. Fucking one of his assistants was jerking off fucking dolphins. And here's the other one. There's two of them. Now, when Tides of Time, it actually has the PC cutscenes so for the first game. I don't know why the cutscenes aren't here. Maybe the PC cutscenes were after this game was made. But uh. Bottlenose dolphins are sturdy animals that grow to an average length of about 9 feet and weigh about 500 pounds. Some spectacular individuals, though, have grown up to 13 feet long and weigh up to 1,430 pounds. Most bottlenoses are silvery gray, 
darker above and lighter below. Many are freckled with a galaxy of small spots. In a normal lifetime, they live for about 25 to 30 years. Dolphins travel in loose family groups called pods. They are exuberant and playful, often jumping for no apparent reason, just, it seems, for the fun of it. They're highly intelligent. Some of us believe even more intelligent in their own way than humans are. Dolphins work together to hunt, often herding schools of fish into shallow areas for easier catching. They pose sentinels to protect the group from predators, especially sharks. Podmates have been known to aid an injured comrade, lifting it above the water at regular intervals to breathe. Certain dolphins may become friends and stick closely together for years. It's obvious that dolphin society benefits all its members with safety in numbers and a greater ability to find food, increase their intelligence, and learn. Dolphins are noisy. They communicate nonstop with squawks, blats, barks, grunts, pops, clicks, claps, and whistles. Up to 1,000 separate sounds per second in what we believe may be a type of language. Mothers and calves keep in constant vocal touch and can pick out each other's sound even though dozens of dolphins are whistling and chirping all around them. Dolphins each make a distinctive recognizable whistle. Other dolphins imitate the whistle to call the first dolphin by name. Instead of hearing the ocean around them, dolphins navigate with sonar. They sing. That is, they send out sound waves that echo back to them with a pattern of their surroundings. Dolphins have a rounded part in their head called a melon. The melon is filled with oil that eliminates vibrations, and we believe that dolphins can adjust the melon to change the sounds they make. With sound waves focused and vibrations deadened, dolphins can determine where their sounds echo back from. As dolphins approach objects, they emit a faster series of sounds that help them accurately identify the position, speed, size, shape, texture, and even the makeup of the object. Well, you just learned something from PBS today. Yeah, that's right. Peter, it's called a blowhole, not a fuckhole. Well, I gotta get myself some air, and that's the library there, so if you want to know the backstory to this game and why everything's happening, there you go. Now we gotta go down. Oh. Nope. Ah, look at that. Look at this shit. It, inconsistency. What, what's uh, solid and what's not. Nice. Ooh. Oh, well, I didn't... Look, ooh, look at that. Look at that, kids. A hidden area I did not see before. Not... I did not see that coming. Well, there's another one here, so it's almost pointless. Now, the speedrunners can get, get this shit all the way across, but, uh... Not me. Is it down there? Oh, oh I, I made it across. Aren't that special? See, it automatically goes to the uh, right like that. So if it looks like it, oh shit, this is gonna be impossible. It's uh, not really. A, there's some help here with the mechanics. go up and then you can turn either way and I'll be oh shit look at that it's a big fucking crab so I'm gonna get a big can of raid I mean I'm at a spider but uh, I guess you could use a uh... has anybody ever oh, up 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 anyone ever use raid on a crab crab battle see I hate this shit here it looks like a death pit below you put some fucking floor floor there oh access granted excuse me that was an invincibility that's access granted now, good thing that the, they don't uh, fucking respawn. Alright, let's get our invincibility. Oh shit, the crusher there. I forgot about that. I got lucky, so fucking lucky there. Alright, now go up and down. Up and down slowly. Don't get hit. Ah! Uh. And here's the exit. Well, that wasn't too, too bad. Deep city. Take a deed up up the ass. Uh, WP. That'd be funny if it said PBS. PRB. VOMY. Uh, deep city. We're at uh, two hours, 25 minutes. Video looks pretty good for how long they are. Besides that, 
intergalactic compression artifacts. Yep. Oh, interlacing artifact. Oh, yeah, and it looks better because I'm using the uh, composite cables, even though that's a bad signal. It uses dithering, so it bleeds and blurs colors. Makes it look better instead of everything looking like a dot matrix. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Deep City. Deep City. Gotta show you the map. I'll show you how to beat this game. There's only, like, uh, on the Sega CD version, there's only, like, three or so playthroughs on, on the fucking internet. The Genesis version is a little more popular, but, uh, there you have it. So, th th I guess this makes number four. Number four playthrough on the internet. Hard game, that's why there isn't many. And who's gonna buy a fucking Sega CD nowadays? I know the prices for the games are expensive, but, uh... Yeah, that mostly goes to collectors, not players. All right, uh, we start in the upper left corner. Uh, no point in going down, and uh, I think the left is an invincibility, which is uh, pretty much pointless. That uh, you know, I'll go down and check it out. To the left, I think, or there's nothing there. But uh, I'll check it out real quick. But uh, all right, we start from up, but we go left. Uh, excuse me, right. Then we go around to the far end. Then we get a ram into that chain, break through. Then we go down. Then we got to push a block down, get the key glyph, then go up, open that uh, glyph door. Then we go in, go around, go up and around, and then we got to get another glyph and exit. So, pretty simple, pretty simple. Once you know where, where everything's at, seeing the whole picture here, instead of being close up, it's not too hard. All right, like I said, I'm gonna check down there. I said there's like a glyph or something. Oh, it's uh, too hard. Oh yeah, these jumps. Uh, go. Yep, gotta have some heart. Circles, everybody. That was a pretty good one. Yeah, you gotta angle it just right. There we go, got it. So go to the far end. Then go down. Oh, shit. The ones that hurt you, you seem to can bust through. I was supposed to go down. Up oh, there's a brick. Oh, we got some air. Doesn't want the air. There we go. Then we gotta push it. Alright, there we got a key glyph. Alright, there's our invincibility. Let's move. Yeah, can't dilly dally shilly shally. Good thing when you hit them, they you, they don't hurt you. Ah, oh, there we go. Then we gotta go down to get the other glyph. Fucking glyph. Yeah, it seems like once you hit it, you instantly get the shit back on. Get max time with the shield. Access granted. Yeah, it opens up the uh, locked way at the end. I know I had a hard time finding this. A practice run, well, not too hard. I mean, you just got can't come back. Up, oh, up, oh, no! Watch out for them vents, they suck, and there we go. Not too difficult. City of Forever, no description. Nobody's been here. Uh G F K F V O M V City of Forever. 
Uh, oh yeah, the time. Nah, I'm always forgetting son. Two hours and thirty minutes. All right. Would be funny if they had random chance they get knocked out or something when barrel head into the wall. Ooh, I wouldn't like that. That'd make the game harder than it actually is. Okay, we're at uh, City Forever. Now there's a shortcut in this level. Should I take the shortcut or uh, go the long way? I mean, this uh, playthrough is getting pretty long right now. Now it is intentional. It's not a glitch or anything. It's definitely supposed to be there. Anyway, he's looking, so it's uh, not really cheating. It's uh, towards the beginning. I'll show it to you. Uh, we got a lot of hard jumps here. It'll take long. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take the shortcut. Fuck that noise. Alright, here, here's the uh, shortcut right here, but how do we open it? How do we open it? Boom. Access granted. Now we'll be back to this level again, so maybe if uh, we'll do it legit. Oh, well, it's a long way, I should say, not legitimately. Hit this thing. Time travel sequence initially travel traveler echo. Otherwise, uh, you'll be killed by that shit right there. We're going back in time. This is where it gets crazy. Fucked up. You gotta go back in time and protect Sarah Connor. We're at Jurassic Beach. Welcome to Jurassic Beach. Great music here. Well, almost all of them are great. We had no uh, title screen there saying Jurassic Beach, but uh, when you die, I'll say that. Alright, we start in this little pond in the upper left corner. We gotta go left, uh, get the song for the pterodactyl that takes us, moves us over to the right pond, we go down. Go down further, get the glyph, open the thing, but first get the invincibility glyph for air. Then we go down and to the left, go to the middle, get the key glyph, open that shit up, and exit. Now, for some reason, uh, some fucking reason, there, there's two glyphs there. One invincibility, I think there's two invincibilities. You gotta fight a seahorse for whatever, I think, I, I don't know if it's a, intentional or what. It's a distraction, but you can just exit the level, so I'm not 100% on that. There we go, let's get our song. Sing the song in the air to call the pterodon. What's the difference between the pterodon and the pterodactyl? Oh shit. Had no air there. Now you can see pterodactyls in the background, although they're not animated. Watch out. Oh, this, this fucking the current here goes both ways, like a bisexual. Now we want to go down this hidden area right here, get the key glyph. Alright, doesn't give us invincibility either. Oh, we need health. Alright, we gotta go into, uh, which one is it? Yeah, there we go. Go over to the second one, I believe it is. Not that first one. The second one. We got our invincibility, now we go down. Open this shit up, now we gotta go down and around. Um. 
Let me check my map, I forget. The hidden back door entrance. Yep. Uh where's that map? Yep, we gotta go this way, get the key glyph. There's also an invincibility down and to the left where I'm at. And then we can uh, go up and e exit. I hate how the map doesn't show you the whole fucking thing. Let's just uh, just a little bit. Just a tip. Alright, now we got it. Oh, there we go, second death. Luckily, there's checkpoints here. Now, what the fuck am I dying of? Why am I dying so fast? And I got the invincibility. Why was I dying so fucking fast? I gotta check that replay. I mean, it seems like I was low on fuck. See, here's our invincibility. Alright, now we can just go up and around. Alright, there's a seahorse of apocal the apocalypse, but uh, we're gonna exit this area. Pterodon Pond. CB HM VT NX Terran Odon Pond. Uh, da, 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 da. two hours and uh, thirty-seven minutes. Two hours, thirty-seven minutes. All right, uh, Pterodon Pond. Uh. All right, we start. Uh, oh no! Excuse me, that map is way too big. We don't see, have everything on on screen. It's fucking huge. Alright, we got, uh, alright, we start in, uh, near the upper right corner. We go left, get the, uh, song. Pterodactyl takes us to the far left. We go down, get the key glyph. Get that key glyph, go up. Get that key glyph, go down. Then we gotta go into the bottom and go in a circle. The vents pushes you. Get that key glyph, go up. Go in the upper right corner, left. Got some vents over there, gotta go right. And then, uh, gotta go down. Get that key glyph, go up and around into the upper right corner. And then there you have it, kids. This one's a little more complex. Not too hard, but complex. Genesis version, there's no checkpoints, if, uh, didn't know that. Although I was playing the Genesis version on the Switch, does that count as actually playing the Genesis version? It's got the rewind, and I sing this song in the air to call. Yeah, we already heard this. Ah. Surprised he doesn't try and eat Echo. Go down, get the key glyph, go down. And they're uh, hidden, of course. Semi hidden, I should say. I'll have to piss you the fuck off. Invincibility and we have to go up more. And now we gotta go into the fucking hole. Oh, we are already in it. Never mind. And the glyph is towards the bottom. Now this is one circular area. area. There it is. Make sure it wraps around you. Epicness. And we're gonna go back the way we came up. 
now we just gotta go a little bit over to the right. And then we turn to the left. That's right location. Evidence indicates dark water zone. Is this the one? Alright, straight up the tube is some air, so we'll do that. Or at least it should be. Uh, yeah, there's there we go in there. Get to that. Get get to it. We got checkpointed. The fuck is this? Oh, I didn't touch it. Fuck you. I uh, make it easier and go at the glyph anyway. Three deaths. Three deaths. But uh, that one was semi-intentional. Not. Oh wait, not this one. Not this one. Next one. You know what? Better make look at the map. Yeah, here we go. Didn't touch it. Didn't touch it. That's the problem. There we go. Now I got it. See, two different things. One glyph. down grab it oh wait no it's the pterodactyl one uh, now we can sing it thank you Origin Beach. I in a foin J. Origin Beach. Uh, two hours forty three minutes. All right. Check the map. And we start uh, in the upper left corner. Got to jump the thing, go around. Well, first we got to get the glyph in that same area, then jump it, go down. Open that glyph, go to the right, get that glyph, go down, then go left. Just get the, get the, get, get the air and exit. Pretty simple one. Origin Beach is also a uh, secret here. We're going to check out that secret early on. See. Yeah, nope, it's over here. Now first get the glyph before we forget. Alright, we got our key. There we go, it's in those corners, both corners, upper left left and right corners. Here's a secret. We hear song in the ocean. We heard our kind in the sea. Never have we heard songs in the sea. I gotta give it one more. You sing our song under the waves? Who are you? Could we sing in the sea? Could we live in the sea? Perhaps we will try. Ah, uh, it was all Echo's fault that they are now go into the sea. That's why they breathe under the fucking water. Originally, originally started out in the fucking land. Under the sea. I think that, I think that's all the messages. Well, whatever. Fuck it. 
now you know. It's all Echo's fault. Fuck you! Bring it. Point bring it down my momentum, you piece of shit whore cunt. some places. Ah, there we go. We got some air there. Yeah, that was a trap. That was a trap. Somewhere beyond the ocean, somewhere beyond the sea. Billy Bat's resting song. Hmm. Is that the uh, same Billy Bat's that told Joe Pesci to get his fucking shine box? Oh, gotta hit it first. Now that's a trap. Well, I get the uh, next one, but then it, fuck. I think, no, I think we, we gotta go to the right. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah, there, that, that's another secret passageway there. Gotta look for them. See, uh, instead of going through the hard way through the uh, current, you can go up in that secret tunnel and go left. Not too hard. Not too hard. Yeah, Lloyd's the song that plays while Billy gets his ass beat by Pesci and De Niro. Oh, I, I never paid attention to this song when they were beating the shit out of him. Uh, let's see where we at, uh, G, J, E, N, B, E, L, W, Trillobite Circle, spelt that wrong, Circle, and, uh, we're at the, uh, 2 hours and 48 minutes. was Atlantis by Donovan. Oh, funny, there's Atlant Atlantis in this game. Oh, Trilobite Circle, this one's a pain in the ass. Oh, wait, no, no, I, I, I don't think it's... No, it's the next one. Next one's a pain in the ass. Alright, we start uh, over on the right there, middle right, go around, fight the seahorse of the apocalypse, get the key glyph to open it up and then exit. It's uh, pretty simple here, pretty simple, not too hard. Let's do it to it. Asshole, so we got room. I should appear. Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, is that seahorse? Hit and run. I want to hit him with the fucking. It's better to be like fucking low or high, so you can. Easier to 
dodge. There we go, not too, too difficult. Oh, see, see, that's one of the ones that do it, does it two, two times, gets two different things. Key and then invincibility. And now we can just fucking exit this battle hole. Guess they made it short because of the fight there. If you didn't have the fucking item, it would take a while. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, I forgot about the vent. Yeah, so we're back at the start. Gotta do it again. Well, I don't think the fight, but, uh... Perhaps I should get the key left before we go. You know what, perhaps it'd be better if I... Yeah, that movie had pretty good music too, yep. I gotta see where the fuck I'm at. Not even close. Alright, we gotta go over some more. Okay, where I fought the seahorse was the, uh... Die in a second. Maybe I should just fucking die. See, it could have been real quick, but no. That is stupid vent bullshit. I stick to the left this time. There we go. And. Off this dark wars. This this is the pain in the ass, especially without fucking checkpoints. Definitely want the password. M Z E C D E L J Dark Water. All right, uh, two hours, fifty-two minutes. Oh yeah, the map. Got to show you the map. Uh Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about the fi the final level. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. Another one where you go down. Alright, we uh start in the upper left corner, then we gotta go straight down. There's gonna be some, uh. Lo oh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of one hit kills, like the fucking hard water here. Oh, oh the, the consistency, uh, with the name. Both have water in it. Hard water, now it's dark water. Alright, we're gonna have some seashells this time to fucking insta kill us. We go to the bottom, pass those shits, then get the key glyph, open it up. Then we gotta go down, fight a seahorse, go down, get our key glyph, come back up, and then we gotta fight, uh, fight the, uh, DNA, the sperm. And then we gotta, in the, the fight, we gotta hit, uh, three, four of the same colors, and then we get the, uh, globes. And on the Genesis version, you gotta do that all in one go. But here, we got some checkpoints, so we'll kind of go straight down. Ah, fucking get off me, you fucking Japanese rape and tentacle bullshit. No, I don't go too, too fast. Oh, no. I think that's where it's at. There it is. First one. Up. Oh. Ah, <laughs> got lucky there. The 
bucks. I got got two of them. That's nice. Stick to the left. There you go. Stick to the left. I think this one we got to stick to the right. Or it doesn't matter. There's only one. Yeah, stick to the left. Both of them stick to the left. Fuck you! Alright, we got our checkpoint. Alright, now we go down. Make sure that shit's out of the way. Now this one we can... There's some health below us, so... Just keep doing that. Now this one. Fuck! Yeah, like I said, I tried to. I think this one we have to stay on the right side to, uh, if you want to do it fast. Oh. And, and yes, we gotta fight the seahorse again. Genesis version. Now remember the Genesis version, there's no checkpoints. expert at this game if you're playing this Genesis version. Yeah, right side's a lot easier. Yep, gives me both for right side kids. asshole was tight on that one. Yeah, other, the first side's left. Second side, second one. Right now here. Now don't stand still for too long. Stay on the left side. Let's go for the purples. Purple nurple. Just keep moving or it shoots fucking electric. Smash your face right the fuck in him and then fucking ram it. Fuck you in the dick. Alright, we got these the fucking gray ones. Don't s Don't. And yes, when you touch them, it hurts you. Alright, purples again. Oh. oh, that one had to get the fuck in the way. Alright, reds it is. Oh. Oh, run, run out of air. I'm dead. can't dilly dally shilly shelling remember Genesis gotta do this all over again all in one go oh god there we go four of them just smash your fucking face into the keypad I'm not sure, maybe the hard difficulty. Uh, the last game was in, uh, I believe, 2001. Oh, we're back at, uh, what the fuck, the, that fucking place. Uh, Deep, Deep Water 2, uh, fucking, just put it at three hours. Then do a sweep. 1080, yep. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking repeat levels here. And that look at their short ones. Oh, see, there's that current I told you about before. See, there's a narrative here. Going back, you gotta go back places you've been. Uh, fuck.
Fuck you. I know that guy goes slowly on this one. Yeah. I was trying to shoot it with the thing, but I can't instead dashed. That got us shit. Now I am whole again with all my power. Thank you, Echo. Now I will help you. I will give you new powers. Use the Atlantean. Oh, there you go. There's the, uh, I guess, plural. Atlantean time machine to swim back in time to the hour of the storm. You will be taken with your pod. You will see the unseen enemy. Use this song to return to your home bay just before the storm. With your new powers, perhaps you will save your pod. Now I don't have to breathe. I can breathe underwater. One more time limit. City of Forever back here again. We're going to take the shortcut. We're at three hours. So we're not going to take the long way. Maybe a Genesis version. I'll do the long way if I ever get to it. Because it's a shorter. We have less levels. Alright, that's right. Access granted. Uh, I, I thought there were spikes around there. Uh, I'm, I'm getting confused. If it's the Gen I was playing the Switch Genesis version before. I think on your way back there's more traps. Make sure you register in for the time machine. Gotta save Sarah Connor. These have some advantages over Blue Ways, but do VHS have any advantages over DVDs? Uh. I get. I don't know, maybe not as fragile, it's harder. You can't really scratch them up, although they can tear up and they uh, get caught in there, the, the tape. But uh, probably more durable than DVDs. Uh, you can get uh, six hours. Uh, yeah, if you're using a file, only you have six hours of uh, footage there. I forget what's the most on a DVD, because I know some uh, earlier DVDs you could only. Uh, Yeah, like, speaking of Goodfellas, that that one you had to flip over, the first uh, printing, the first version. Alright, now we're at home bay, but uh, let's do what we did before. How high in the sky can you fly? Now we figured out the mystery of what caused the storm. It wasn't you. It wasn't you, it was these aliens. Don't blame yourself, kid. Ooh, here's a good song. Oh, wait, no, it is a good song. Space Dolphins. Well, so you can, uh... Right over them if you want. Oh, yeah, the VHS were a lot easier to write over. Uh, you know about uh, the plot of this game? It's not just about fucking a dolphin trying to find his pod. No, now there's fucking aliens and time travel and all types of crazy fucking psychedelic bullshit. Like what John C. Lilly, the, the Ed Annunziata was reading up on, got the idea for this game. That guy took fucking psychedelics in the... Uh, what the fuck is it? The... Sensory de deprivation chamber, and he imagined fucking aliens after him. That's where Echo came from, the Earth coincidental control office. He thought the aliens cut off his dick and gave it to him. And his wife said, no, it's still there. Fucked up shit, and his assistant was jerking off fucking dolphins. But, uh... Oh, there we go. He's kicked in. You remember, go in circles. If you go, uh... Don't just press left and right. Press up and then left and right. Otherwise, it's, uh... Alright, now you can just press A and it kills anything. Yeah, it takes longer to turn if you, uh, just press left and right. So you stop for a second. You lose momentum. It's physics here, kids. We got regenerating health before Call of Duty, the tube. Alright. A R M Y E L L B the Tube. 
three hour, five minutes. Found an official VCD movie from 90s Volcano. I saw that movie. Tommy Lee Jones. Usually everyone I ever found was fake. A legit VCD. Different formats are interesting. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that one wasn't. I don't think it had as much space as uh, DVDs, so. I think you need multiple discs. For the first part, you gotta maneuver around here, but once it speeds up, then you gotta go to the top. Yeah, we got regenerating health. That's one of his powers. He doesn't have to breathe underwater and can kill things by with a sonar by pressing the button. One button instead of two buttons like before. Oh, I, I, I can bash him? Yeah, I was experimenting there. Oh, I did not know that. The more you know, kids. I just learned something through this playthrough. You can't... died there. You in the dick. Yeah, laser discs were like big records where VCDs were just CDs. That first part was just dodging. Yeah, the uh Ramming is inconsistent, so I'll just dodge him. But at least we know we can go through him. There's no more shit in the way. Just fire away. And the song should be the end of the level. There we go. Welcome to the machine. Medal of Honor Nell you Welcome to the machine That's a reference to Pink Floyd if I'm not mistaken We're at uh, fucking 3 hours 10 minutes we, This might go on to 4 hours Next level is an auto scroller kids 6 minutes 
Six fucking minutes, I tried to map out the auto-scrolling at level, and look how many fucking pages it took to fucking map it out. I couldn't find a map on the internet. Took five fucking pages this fucking big. We start here, we gotta go all the way around and all this bullshit. I, and I try to make it fucking small to figure out where to go. But I did look, I did eventually find a map to the place. Uh, let's see, like, where the fuck is it? Uh, now if I can find it. Did I even save it? Uh, there it is. Here we go, kids. Alright, kids, here's the map right there. There's the map. There's the map. Six minutes in here. Six minutes auto-scrolling, a lot of insta-deaths. Welcome to the machine. Probably not gonna get this. I'm gonna die and die and die a lot. Here's where most people die. Ed Anunziata said he uh, didn't want anyone to beat this over a weekend, so he made it extra hard. So it's hard ice, no hard wa hard water, dark water, and this. These three are the hardest levels in the game. Going to uh, Google pauses the audio. Ah. Uh, no way, I'm gonna be here a while. Fucking aliens, you gotta shoot them twice. Now try and do as many circles as you can, don't fucking... Try and stay centered, cause uh, if you uh, see like that, that slows down your momentum. So try and do circles, not just instantly turn around. I thought this was just about cute fucking fucking dolphins and uh now we got fucking aliens. They were definitely on the drugs when they made this game. Well Ed and Nunziata said he never done drugs, at least from what I read. But the uh guys that you've read about have. They're fucking fucking psychedelic chambers. Sensory des de sensory deprivation chambers. LSD seeing aliens while jerking off dolphins. Oh, I'm getting squished. Now I'm not going to be watching the chat because uh, I got to concentrate here. Almost got crushed there, okay, if you're quick. Maybe you through. Oh, there I go. There we go. He's first restart. Get a kill count up. Somebody type it in number one. How many times does it take? Big range on these sonar, it can even get behind you at certain times. See, like that? It's got big fucking range, so there's nice on that. So it's not just the front.
Uh, oh, 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 oh. You. Hey, that just the time. What am I getting stuck on? Nicely, sir. Uh. Don't go in the tubes. Whatever you do, don't go in the fucking tubes. Not yet. Yeah, don't go in those tubes. Neither one on the way back, yes. Not that one. Look how long it is, the, the fucking song reset it. Oh, I think I just fucked my... Nope, didn't fuck myself hard. Then you gotta fucking deal with these assholes. Okay, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? Down, I think it's it. It's the right way. I think it's the left one, left waist first. Yeah, left waist first. I know there's gonna be a right coming up. This, this is where it fucks, fucks you square in the ass. Oh yeah, it is right, Jesus Christ. Let the ship... And then back to the left. Remember that, kids. Alright, here we go. Alright, we made two, two, two tries. Final boss. Spam that fire. Loading, loading. Spam that fire because you get hit by jagoffs here. Alright. Let that recharge. Go back to center. Don't stand still because it's got that shit. Yeah. Stay low because up ahead, there you got the fucking... You. And then we gotta do it over again. Got greedy there. Alright. Uh, I've never had Dolphin. Do you have Shadow of the Beast? Uh, no, I do not. Nope, no turbo here. We're doing everything legitimate. 
Got a little greedy there. Should have, should have been. All right, here we go. We hopefully, we remember all that shit. Japanese version is fucking, uh. Fucking easier. You go to the stomach and then you can do the fight. Oh! Explaining shit. Forgetting shit. Yeah, just take things slow here. Don't use that fucking speed unless you really have to. Lay off the C button. Speed button unless you're about to get crushed. Another six minutes, kids. Six minutes. Terminator, aliens, Pink Floyd, dolphins. LSD, that big stack of dolphins. Circles instead of fucking stopping. So you still got your momentum, so you move fast. Go in circles, kids. It's got no physics here. You say, oh, I don't like the controls. I was supposed to control them like a dolphin. See, like that almost got fucked up. It said doing a circle, so you lose your fucking speed. Uh, I usually play as Mario. I usually play as the hero characters. I play as this spam the PK fire. Here we go again, kids. Almost at what is this uh fourth try, fourth death.
I thought I was gonna stop, go down, and come back up. You see, there, there's too many similar shit. I think this is number five. Super Smash Hose. Said famous game characters need famous porn stars. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that, that's why I foregoing that uh, fucking City of Forever or in that level didn't took the shortcut. Genesis version, I'll do it all the way through whenever if I ever get to it. Maybe even play the Switch version. But because uh, I knew, knew how long this one's gonna take, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, you ain't fucking beating this with a rental. Close one there. Oh. It takes two hits for these cocksuckers. That's the one I was thinking of. See, it's uh, similar. It has small cracks. Get out of there, Echo. See, like shit like that. That's when you use the C button. But otherwise, don't try and take it slow. Shit, cargo. Fucking douchebag, fucking piece of shit. No, you still haven't gotten the switch. Alright, let's see a lot of comments here. Smash Bros. Fun versus Real People. Mario Party, yep. Pick Yoshi every game. That title has a double meaning because hoes get smashed by guys as they smash each other through violence in the me that media. Yep, Nintendo needs to license it to... Oh, you still haven't gotten a Switch. Mmm, that's hard to say. Probably the most played one is uh, the GameCube one. That's probably the most time I have on it. Right. That or the Wii. That's a lot of help, that shit. Fair enough, you got insta kill here, but now I have to deal with these jag offs.
Nico. Get in there. Not that dude, when you see that black fucking piping, don't go in now, nor that one. good somebody out there do the clicking of the chat Just... now we'll get right back to it with the lost connection there with the internet mm. I did get myself a Pepsi I don't know who's out there who's waiting I uh, see you didn't, but you're probably long gone. Mm. Let me interact with that, make sure it's fucking working. Ah, oh, there we go, there's Emerald. Alright. Yeah, all that was sitting right here. Here we go again, kids. Didn't miss anything and died right there. Another six minutes. Hopefully, I'll. That's why I get to practice the final boss uh, beforehand. Well, you gotta take it slower on shooting the eyes out. You gotta shoot the eyes out and then uh, ram the mouth. And then ram the head. Yeah, doing it quick can get fucked up because it side bleeds acid. Wonder where they got that from. 
yellow team is there now that yellow rest there. God damn it. Went fast. Gotta go in. Gotta go in. Jesus. Because I was also playing the uh, Switch uh, slash Genesis version, so there's like some tiny differences. right there. Hey, watch out for them fucking pipes. They don't go in there. God damn, he's all over the fucking place. Now we go up in the tube.
boss time. Just swing around. Swing around. Swing, around. swing away. Shoot him. Keep firing away. Loading. Go where there's space. Yeah, don't stay around too long. Fuck! Fucking in the dick! Fucking in the dick! Uh, OBS is the modern fairy tale in which the meth lab hit granny. Different kind of magic potion to ruin people's lives. Uh. The internet connection or the this level here, Emerald, what's uh, infuriating. Or both. There you go, another six minutes, kids. Another six fucking minutes. Thanks, Ed. Oh, gotta go up. Are we fuck up? Jesus fucking Christ! So let me find just fucking figure out where they fucking go without being fucking squashed. But no, Don't worry about these aliens and acid bullshit. Close one, Jesus Christ. You in the fucking dick. Yep, no turbo here. Ta ta, turbo man. Oh, now they, they seem to be moving a lot faster now. It's a glitch now. Experienced a couple of glitches already.
gotta get in. Yeah, you gotta remember all this shit. Anyone, anyone else remembering all this? Not that you can help, because I gotta watch this, not the uh, chat. No. No. Yeah, now I fucked myself real hard. I stay along those fucking tubes. So you start making consoles again. Yep. Yep, make a return in a 3D open world game. I don't know what the Sega. They, they need a lot of money to do that. Probably not. Is that giving a different password each fucking time? How many possible passwords can be in this game with all the letters? Fuck you! Sonic, that could be good if they got they know what the fuck they're doing. It's just doing something stupid and half ass and going back to fucking 2D in a 3D world. I hate that. And the uh, was it generations and cause make it truth fucking 3D. Don't keep going back and forth. Make it an open world like Sonic Adventure. I like that. Oh, 
first one I gotta go into. Fuck. Fuck a doodle doo. I now remember I have the pipes and stick to the right. Hit the walls, make it slow down. You can come to a stop. Pipe, yeah, here's the pipes, and then you're supposed to stick to the right. To the pipe. Oh, oh! On our way back, then we could go to the, the bucket pipe. Don't do this shit to me. Pipe. Go out to the right. Sucking dick since Sonic 06. Six. Just like Sonic Adventure 1. Yeah, I like that one too. Uh, I haven't really gave the Metroid Prime games much time. I gotta beat them first and I'll give you an answer. Sonic Team has been cum dumpster faggot porn for a while. The amount of cocks in it sucks. Yep. Alright, let's... I was about to say, don't freeze right there, you piece of shit. Once, wait until it sucks, then hit, hit its fucking mouth. Then 
can't get away. You gotta do it three times, plus it's three mouths open. Whore! That's one. That's one whore mouth. Don't, you can get sucked up in instant kill. So I just want to make you very aware of that. That's two. fuck happened there? The fuck killed me? What insta-killed me there? Can s check the replay. What the fuck killed me? Oh, that was complete bullshit. Damn, that fucking cocksucker went fast. <gasps> oh, God. Six minutes, kids. About six minutes. Probably had a little more practice on the final boss. Alright, well, fight the boss one more time. If I if I fail it, I'm gonna use a password and just practice on it and then come back here to the machine. That's what I'm gonna do. Gotta yeah, know all the ins and outs of it. What you fucking doing? All this fucking shit in your fucking way. It's always hot in this fucking room. You got the air, fucking air on, it's still fucking hot as hell. Open the fucking window, Jesus fucking Christ. Sit to the right. I think when they explode, they, 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 they don't hurt you. get fucked with blood. Alright, this one can't stick around before you get moved.
Okay, I'll stick along the right side with the right side. Okay, don't go into the tubing. Fucking dick licker. Who are the ones who licks the dicks? Prime games. Yeah, that chat will get the kill. Here we go again, kids. Big two double tap it. Oh shit, oh shit. Gotta regain my health before it go up a temp. It's better to stay in the center of it when you shoot the eyes. Seems like. It. Fucking do stick, fuck. The reason why I don't go up there is because you got the fucking alien bullshits. The minions. <laughs> fucking douche!
that's two. Like I said, I'm I'm, I'm gonna. We'll come back to this. I got I got it written down. I want to do a practice run. I want to see what. There should be three mouths. I I'm only destroying two of them. Yeah, Breath of the Wild Two is a uh, one I'd like to get. Uh. Gotta do a practice run before we finish that off. I gotta, I gotta remember what the fucking password was. Cans flex. Alright, we're gonna do a practice run, see what the fuck I'm doing wrong here, and then we're gonna do go back and do the machine legitimately. I go right up its fucking mouth. Nope, that didn't work either. I'll probably eventually get the Pokemon, but the thing with the Pokemon games is they they're too long to beat, take too much time. That's why uh, I hesitate on getting them. Take a lot of time, and plus I'm doing the N64 challenge. All right, don't go up its mouth. Maybe I, let's. I don't know why this is so fucking hard. Oh, see that when you do it fast, more of them come out. Oh, that took me like I don't know. I I forget over a long time. Well, you can do it real quick if you speed run it, uh, but that's really hard. See, it's, it, the the more you go out on the quest, the easier it is to get more weapons and shit. But uh, yeah, you can watch a speed run. You can be like in a half hour, probably less. Yep. 
if you do it at the speed running away, yep. It's uh, a lot sure than Pokemon games. Uh, now we gotta take your time on the eyes. Double tap, and that's it. Dub double or triple. Yeah, probably double. Double tap. Then go to the other side. Fuck you in the dick! Yeah, that's why we had to practice, kids. You see how many times I'm dying here? I mean, with this chi, I should be able to just restart this fucking thing over and over instead of going to the machine. There should be three mouths. Is this glitching off or what? Because I'm. You know what? That's why I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do a hard reset because I th think it's glitching off. Because I. I remember there's three mouths. So this might be harder than it should fucking be. Yep. Stick and move. Yeah, the Metroid series isn't really my favorite series, but uh, I do like the number two for Game Boy. Didn't care for the NES version. Now let's try it again. Is that, you saw the glitch and that was happened before. So that, might, that might be another glitch, fucking... Because I'm counting two mouths. Not, uh, I, I remember three mouths. I mean, you saw that mouth disappear. So I should be going for the head. Dick hole. Yep. 
yeah press all the buttons at one time and then you can do a reset from here the restart button fucking sticks on my Genesis one so Yeah, the last fight. Uh. Oh. Yeah, if you go to the top, you got those dickheads to contend with. Oh, you douche. That was an ass that does this a lot. Fucking douche, cunt, fuck, whore. I see you. I see you. Fucking retard. I'm not gonna just be three hits until a mouth comes off. Nice four hits. Twelve hits should be twelve hits, and that's it. All right, just uh... oh. there he is. So we walk through that through those bags. See, only two of them. Go for the big fucking head. I ain't showing you the ending. It's all right. We got we got the go to the top of the head. There we go. Uh, gaming tournament. Nah. I know. Let's see. What was the? Uh... All right. Like that music there. All right. Good thing. Writing down my password. How many times do I gotta press the fucking start button? Alright, I think I think I got it this time. I mean, is there is, for some reason when you're rubbing up against it, it fucking kills you. Medal of Honor. Uh. Nell you. It took the long way. Alright, I think we can get it this time, kids. Oh, oh, we got... That was the practice run, Emerald. We're not done yet. We gotta do it legitimately. From Welcome to the Machine. And then we get to see the whole ending. Gotta do it legitimately, Emerald. Not like these other fucking frauds. Safe state. Fucking rewind. Passwords for sec since it's uh, within the game. All the passwords that I got from uh, playing.
You gotta do the six minutes and then uh, beat the boss. That is legitimate. And I think I will definitely get this time. And then you can see the ending. Yeah, it feels like it's glitching because it, this is harder than it should be. I don't know what the fuck's going. It's too hot in here, fucking everything up. Stick to the right. Get in there. Get in the hole. Yep, now you, now you people see why this is one of the hardest games ever made. Mostly because of this ending part here. Six minutes, six minutes auto scrolling, no way to speed it up, and then you gotta beat the boss without fucking dying. And, and it's cool, like, it tosses you into an enemy. First fucking. And the Genesis bar version is probably harder because there's no regening at the boss. But I think you, uh, I think the power levels of how much you get hurt is n not as much as here with the regen. So I guess, at least from uh, what I've seen, I, I don't have the data in front of me where the fucking code to see what the fuck's going on, but uh, that's what it felt like. Now this one we get in and we stay in there. Then we gotta get out. Get out, motherfucker. It's gonna blow. the right, stick to the right. Let's see. You gotta go through the hole. Uh, not, not yet, not yet, not in the tubes yet. Only on the way back then you go in the fucking tubes. I feel like I got him and I was gonna even point at him. Got some leeway on that, the shots. Now we go in. Now we can go both ways. Yeah, that, that's probably the safer way. Ooh. Oh, not yet. Next one we're going down. Yeah, the tubes is like probably the halfway point or so. Those black tubes. Or maybe two thirds. You guys got this memorized yet? Here, I believe it's uh, all left. Oh, two lefts and a right. One. And two lefts. Right and back to the lefts. We're gonna stick to the rights here. All right, so all the way down. Yep. Gotta go back to the left. 
have fins in our left, and I think we got to say after we get that far, we're gonna make good. As long as we don't get stuck on stupid shit. Yep, we can, we can do this, hopefully this is it. Double tap. Take it slow. Double tap. Fucking douche! Fuck! Faggot! Whore! Fucking douche corn. Ah! Ah! Other side. Fucking douche, fuck. More. Right. Yeah, you gotta time those fucking sucks. That's what she said. There we go, beat it, finally. Jesus fucking Christ, Christ. Four hits to the fucking head, or was it five? Alright, now here's the real ending. Alright, and then that gives you the last fight password. Which we don't need. Alright, let's check the, uh... Alright. Ah, oh, you're doing stuff. Alright, now we officially beat in it. And thanks ahead of time. Where I'm at is pretty bad. The People's Republic of Washington. Yep. I'm in the People's Republic of New Jersey. Hot as hell. Now you can enjoy the ending, everybody. One of the hardest games, they say. Now, if anyone can get a hold of uh, Ed Annunziata over on his Twitter so I can get added to the list, that'd be uh, great. Uh, let me see if I can add the link once again. Alright, there's the link. 
Your song will echo throughout the vast... What I... I'll read this. Yeah, over on his Twitter, direct message him. Because I don't do Twitter, that's why I don't... Oh, I'm not gonna do it myself. Thank you, Echo. Yeah, I just send this link to him that I've actually beaten it. Michael Jackson's on that list of uh, people who beat this game. We will sing of you forever. You have saved us. You are great. Do you think the Vortex are destroyed? Hell no. Don't be back in number two. We need another number three. Uh, thanks, Emerald. Yeah, definitely better music. Both by uh, Spencer Nielsen, but uh, yeah, with the CD capabilities, make much better music. Produced by Ed Etor Anunziata. Ed Anunziata design. L says that as well. CD version. Great art by Balazilla Talent. Programmers Molnar, Zoshef, the Bird, and Fox. Was this, I uh, forget, the uh, Hungry, the. Here we go, Spencer Nielsen. Music. Posed and produced by Wind uh, Synthesizer performed by Mitch Manker. Well voices courtesy of Man to get like music group. Digital sound effects Brian Coburn. He also did the soundtrack to Doom 32X. Digichrome video processing by Digital Pictures Inc. Oh, the, the the that Digital Pictures Night Trap narrator Alan Bruce. Oh, it wasn't Richard Kiley. Spared, no expense except not in this case. Marketing Al Al Nielsen. Testing Diana Bounty, David Forrester. Dermont, someone, Christine Watson, Mike. Did any of those guys beat this game? Special thanks, Clyde Grossman, Steve, S Stephen Friedman. It's going too fast. Thanks for playing Echo, Echo, Echo. Ugh. Oh, it's turned the other way. Oh, his mouth moved. I'm not sure if that was in the uh, Genesis version. Too much memory. And of course, like I said, we're using the uh, composite cable so you can see the effect here. It says, see in the dot matrix, you can see it bleeds and blurs the colors. So we got gradients going on here. All right, there we go. One of the hardest games ever. And how long did that take? Uh, well, it took a little long because I lost connection, so I had to stop for a while. So let's let's just say uh, four and a half hours. Not many people could say it. A lot of people would like to say it, but can't. The words, I beat Echo the Dolphin. The following list is compiled and maintained by the creator of the game. If you are on this list, it means two things. One, I believed you when you said you beat the game. Well, got proof right here. Video proof. 
You got mad skills, and I'm sure I can speak for everyone when I say this. We're impressed. Alright, hopefully I get added to the uh, list here. Somebody's got to do that for me. I don't do Twitter. Fuck them. Hate fucking Twitter. Yeah, the one thing about this list, uh, like I said before, there's only one other guy here. The only one guy with a link on YouTube. Everyone else doesn't have a link. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you don't do Twitter either. Mm, got really got need somebody to do that. I ain't gonna sign up to Twitter. Not gonna give them any attention for all the shit they're doing. some other Ed Anunziata games. He did Three Dirty Dwarves, which I have. Mr. Bones I need to get. That's also on the Saturn. Uh, let's see. He did Calibri. I, I did do a playthrough of that, so if you want to see that other Ed Anunziata game, you can go see that. Uh, he did Spider-Man, but I have this the Sega CD version. I don't know if he had much to do with it, but it's definitely based on the Genesis version, which he did. He also did uh, the X-Men game. And a couple others. Alright, uh, final comments everybody, and then I'm going to shut down. Probably the next game is uh, I'm going to do a Blast Master 03 since I have that, and then we'll finally be back to uh, Pokemon there. Them can go through all the N64 games yet, yet again. Well, actually, first time. I thought I read somewhere he'd give you a patch or something like Atari used to do back in the day. If you beat a game or something, no, Activision did that. They sent a patch if you beat the game, show it proof. But I'm not seeing it here. I don't know where I read that, but that would be nice. But the one thing about this list, like I said, there isn't links. I'd like to see a link of uh, them beating it. This one guy beat the Game Gear version. Oh wait, here we here we go. We got uh, liminal speed run. Let's see, check these links. All right, he takes it. All right, takes us to other other. Uh, that one takes us to no, that takes it something else. All right, so there's two links here. One guy on the speedruns.com. I guess that's about it. Uh, that was a fun one. I'd recommend it, but remember, it's hard. That's what she said. Probably, I'd recommend the Sega CD version more. Better music. Um, has the checkpoints. Although, with the less levels on the first one, it's a bit quicker to beat that game, if you know what you're doing. Just, uh, fucking, what the hell, that, that one level's gonna be a pain in the ass. Dark, no, yeah, Dark Water. That one's gonna be hard to beat. No checkpoints because there's many uh, one hit kills with those shells, and then you gotta beat Asterite. So you really gotta know what you're doing. Thanks, Daniel. 
Uh, you got Twittered. Could, could you uh, direct message him, tell him uh, I beat it so I can get added to the list? Yeah, I'm not going to sign up for fucking Twitter. Fuck that place. Yeah, that's open to anybody if you can go over it. If you have Twitter, anybody. Direct message Ed over there in that link I just put in the chat. Oh, he's got a couple lists here. I'm looking at it here. Elia 2001 list. The Chicon list. Alright. This Chicon list is uh, has less players who beat it. Ed's at the top. Some other guys there. But at least they have links showing the proof that they beat it. But then again, uh, Echo's a more popular again, game than Chicon. Uh, you must pro provide a statement that will clearly indicate that you did in fact beat the game. Untruthful request will result in soul forfeit. Yeah, less people on Chicago. Ah, uh, you don't use Twitter either. Nobody uses Twitter, it seems. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's at the bottom of the uh, article here. It shows uh, where to reach him. Followers. He's got 20 follow 20,000 followers. Oh, that would suck if he only had 20. Uh, yeah, ha like I said, I just said a second ago. Uh, if you uh, look at uh, the link, it says at the bottom. Below the uh, picture of the Vortex Queen, it says, uh, please direct message at Ed Annunziata on Twitter. It links right to his Twitter page right there. Mm, I really don't want to go as far as making a, an account. Everybody wants to use Twitter. I don't want to use Twitter. I stay away from pretty much all social media except for YouTube because it's got videos. Oh, I've never even tried to sign up to Twitter. Yeah, too many fucking details. Fucking Twitter works for the fucking government, sending all that information to them. I wouldn't be surprised if they sent it to China. I know TikTok does that. I'm not on TikTok either. Oh, you got suspended or banned a while ago. Same fucking thing, pretty much. Like Twitch, I was kind of interested, but it's too full on. Yeah, Twitch is another fucking woke bullshit motherfucking place. I mean, if you're gonna have a block button or a ban button, might as well not be social media. It's just an echo chamber at that fucking point. Which they shouldn't be doing, I'm pretty sure they all have a section 230. Where they're supposed to be hands off, they can't fucking touch a fucking thing. Everything's got to stay up there. A platform, not a pu publisher. But they want the best of both fucking worlds. Make a Discord fan page. Uh, I've never used Discord. Video proof, uh, I'm not sure, not many. All I see is just uh, two of them. Two of them on this list that have a link. From what I can see, but there might be more, but. Uh... Yeah, 
Oh, a group. Nah, I still want to do Discord. I, I never use that. Alright, last minute. Uh, get, I'm going to shut down on uh, even five hours. So, final comments, everybody. And hopefully somebody out there will uh, direct message him. Show the video to him so there's proof. Oh, he, he and someone let's see if he can get another list. I see the Chicon list. See if he can get a Cleavery list. I also got a video of that, so I can be the first one on the list of that. All right, 20 seconds till I'm shutting it down. Now it's a video on YouTube telling people to send that guy on Twitter, maybe or. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if he has YouTube, but, uh, that's where the, uh, article says, uh, I'll... Uh, the only one I know of is the, uh, Twitter one. I'll, I'll put a, I, I'll put a link to the article and, uh, probably his Twitter before I leave. I'm not sure about, uh, YouTube. There's the article right there, and, uh... And here's his Twitter right here. Peak viewers, I'm looking at the statistics here. Peak viewers at around just before midnight. Yeah, Twitch hard. Hopefully, well, I'll probably say something in the next authentication video. Well, that's pretty much it. Like I said, next game's uh, most likely Blast Master. Then we'll get back to Pokemon, finish that off. And I'll see you guys then.